Hey everybody, I am Chris Premis from Green Renin Publishing, and today I'm going to run some Fantasy Age in Green Renin's long-running Freeport setting um, for these lovely miscreants beside me. So, <laughs> uh, if you were watching us drink beer earlier, um, you'll know that we're primed and ready. So, very, very primed. Yeah, greased. Yes. yes, greased. <laughs> Uh, but we have Eric Benson over here, and Jerry Holkins, and Holly Conrad, and Jessica Marizan. Um, and um, we're going to explore the Fantasy Age RPG. Uh, those of you who may have uh, followed our Dragon Age tabletop RPG, uh, this is the system that I originally designed for that, but broken out of Dragon Age and revised a little bit. Um, and you can use it with whatever setting you like. Um, Freeport is, uh, goes back to the birth of my company back in the year 2000. And it basically took like classic fantasy tropes and mixed them with pirates and Lovecraftian horror. So, so it is, everything uh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> it is, uh, Lovecraft pirates. Yeah. It's pretty good. God. <laughs> Let's dig in. Let's go. Yeah. So we only got a couple hours, so I'm going to jump in here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so in Fantasy Age, there are three, uh, only three character classes. So there's warriors, mages, and rogues. And then as you go up in levels, you can get a specialization, uh, which is kind of like a prestige class, if you remember those. Mm -hmm. um, if you're a nerd. If you're, I do. Mm, yeah. <laughs> a lot. Some kind of nerd. <laughs> uh, so I have uh, two... Uh, of each class for you guys to choose from. Um, and you can pick your own names and I'll get into uh, what brought the characters together. I love it. So, uh, I have a dwarf warrior um, who's big on axes but also has a black powder pistol for Ooh. little Ooh. shooty shoots. That's fun. Um, the, uh, each character in Fantasy Age has a social class and a background to give you a little idea of oh, the interesting. roots. Oh, okay. interesting. Um, so the Dwarf Warrior uh, is a middle class scribe Ooh. in background. Yeah. So. Oh, your day job? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, mm. So then we have a Human Warrior. Uh, the Human Warrior is a two-handed weapon wielder. Uh, a lower class person with a trades person background. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have an elf rogue uh, who's an upper class dilettante. Ooh. Um, Fancy boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> exactly so. Um, and uh, is a uh, uh, shooty rogue, uh, but you know, okay at stabbing as well. Uh, there's a human rogue. Um, well, this doesn't seem right. I'm real bad at being rogues, you guys. Mm -hmm. No, no. <laughs> Never been a rogue. So we have some warrior scenarios, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the human rogue is more of a stabby rogue. So if you like backstabs and such. I'll take it. For you. Okay. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Soul. <laughs> yeah. Soul. Say no more. Uh, I've got a human mage uh, who's a middle class scribe. Um, and uh, this mage has a little bit of uh, buffing magic, some electricity magic, and some shadow magic. Uh, and then I've got a gnome mage, if you want to be a little person. Oh, man. Uh, Are you in? I'm yeah. into the gnome mage. Yeah. yeah. Lower class but I also like person. the dwarf, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, the no mage has some uh, like earth spells, some fire spells, and some healing spells. Yeah. So that's what we got. What well, sounds good? I wouldn't mind being the dwarf with the with both axes and a pistol. Yeah, be like, <clears throat> Chow. that's pretty sweet. It's a good combo. Yeah, I just want I just want to do honk. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you you, want to... you were talking about the gnome. Yep. Which one's the the, I think the like noble the elf. person? The elf. elf I like. Oh I, my god. The only thing I said that is is that I wanted to be a businessman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, know then, why. Yeah, that's the elf for sure. You can be a businessman. The noble no. elf. Get it. Rogue. Yeah. This, the, this, uh, this the party's coming together. Great. Human yeah. warrior was also a tradesperson. Oh. So. Yeah. I don't know. I don't is know. Is a tradesperson a business? I, I, I would say go upper okay. class. Yeah, yeah, yeah upper yeah. class. It. I'm wearing okay. a dress today, yeah. so mm -hmm. I. Uh, so is that the human? Which one's that? No, there's an elf rogue. Is that what you got? You have upper class. Rogue. Elf you have upper class yeah. elf rogue. Yeah, I've never played a rogue. And I will before. be the gnome mage. All right. I will be everyone's trash child again. <laughs> <laughs> Just put you in a pocket. All right. So this portable. Is your character sheet. Yes, sheets. thank you. Um, these a lower are class three. I'm just sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, 
<laughs> you you can be the the dwarf. No, uh, I'm fighter. perfectly happy with being everyone. This is gonna this is gonna culminate in you being her like little. No, pet. oh totally. <laughs> I'm holding the umbrella above her like it's like a Monty Python to. skit. Like, <laughs> I'm just standing on my head, and I'm just like, please, my head is very delicate. I'm just like, it's okay. <laughs> Uh, so right. your class gives you certain features. I'm not going to do that accent, uh, yes. You also it's have bad. what are called talents. It's a long time yeah, to do that. Which are similar to feats. I won't you know do what feats that. are. Um, <laughs> one of the differences my, is long time ago. Uh, each talent comes in three different levels. So there's the novice level, the journeyman level, and the master level. Cool. Mm-hmm. So basically, uh, you know, as you go up levels, you can specialize in different talents and things like that. Very cool. Um, so this sheet has many of the talents that you guys have on your... Sheets, mm-hmm. so just oh. a handy reference. These are low numbers. <laughs> <laughs> um, here is a table reference for y'all. This is just a oh, rule sweet. Book. Very cool. You want to use? Delicious. <laughs> All right. So if you look at your character sheets here, uh, on the left you will see you have a bunch of abilities uh, going from accuracy down to willpower. Um, mm-hmm. So. Mm. <clears throat> Basically, when you do like anything in the game, you're going to be rolling three six-sided dice, Mm -hmm. adding the results together, and you're adding the ability. Um, So, if you wanted to, um, you know, uh, deceive somebody, you could make a communication test. Uh, So, you would roll three d6 and add your communication. You'll notice under some of these, um, there are other. Uh, words. Keywords. Uh, yeah. Those are called focuses, and those are basically things that you're extra good at. Mm-hmm. So, um, so this character I'm looking at here has uh, under communication deception and bargaining. So, if they try to do deception or bargaining, they get an extra plus two oh, when cool. they do that. That's what focuses do. Um, so, when I'm calling for tests, I'll say something like, um, you know, make a fighting heavy blades test, or you know, an intelligence arcane lore test, mm-hmm. and uh, if you don't have the focus, you can still test in most cases. Um, you just need to roll a little better. Yeah. So, uh, it's not required, but if you have the focus, you get a plus two bonus. Um, and so most things are just uh, rolling the dice. Um, when you play the game, uh, you will use three dice. Two of them are one color, and the other one is oh. a different color. The off color die is called your stunt die. Um, and oh, that controls uh, stunts, which are one of the major the, mm-hmm. features oh, so, of oh, the hold. adventure game. So this yeah. two-sided sheet of yes. stunts, yep. yes. uh, this is not, I don't expend some kind of a point. This dice gets rolled along with the rest of it, yeah. and then I can do rad shit? Yes. <laughs> so the way it works is uh, you roll your dice. If you get doubles on any of the dice, um, you uh, and you succeed. That's an important yeah. thing. You have to succeed at the base task. Um, then, uh, then you generate stunt points. You get stunt points from the stunt die. So if I rolled this here, uh, two fours and a five, that would be a stunt. If I was successful, you get four stunt points. And the thing about st- stunts and stunt points is that they're not a resource that you track long term. You get them, you, you spend use them, them now. you move on. And so basically, stunts started as like a dynamic critical hit system for the game, uh, but people liked them so much in playtesting that we expanded them out. So now they're spell stunts. So when you cast spells, same deal. If you're in right. a role playing encounter or an exploration encounter, mm-hmm. there are different stunts you, know, you can use there. Now, as well. I just want to make sure I've understood you. So if yeah. I roll a handful of dice, mm-hmm. if the stunt die is a double with some of the other dice, that's still okay. Yes, it's okay. any, any of the dice. Any two, does. okay. Yeah, any two. Oh. Um, and so then uh, you spend your points and you can mix and match. So if you get four stunt points, you can do two two-point stunts, you can do a three and a one. Oh, no. You know, or one four, however you want to do it. Uh, for the most part, you can't do the same stunt twice, except for a combat stunt called skirmish, which lets you move yourself or others. So mm-hmm. it's how you can sort of sword fight people into a corner or you know whatever you want to do. But at a one cost, Yes. you can throw that in. Yeah. Okay, love yeah, cool. it. Um, so, uh, so yeah, um, that's the basics of the engine. We can get more into it when we're actually playing. Yeah, that's probably the best way. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put this away. All right. Um, so, um, you guys live not in Freeport, uh, but actually in a city called... Scary Town. <laughs> 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 Uh, it's a city called Fallberg. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see this, but 
Um, so this Ooh. is uh, the continent, uh, which is the nearest large landmass to Freeport. Freeport is a series of four islands oh. um, that are a ways away. So Freeport's like down this way. Um, so you guys are in what are called the Ivory Ports, which are down here. The Ivory Ports are basically like five independent city-states, uh, maritime in focus. Um, and uh, if you think like Venice or places like that, it's, cool. it's similar. Um, so you guys are in Thalberg, um, and Thalberg is a city that is controlled by craft guilds. Um, and there's like a council of, of uh, guild masters, basically, who run the city. So guild power, quite strong. Um, you know, they have the biggest influence in the city. Um, you are all members of a semi-secret group. Uh, called the Fellowship of Ravens. Ooh! Right? <laughs> Birds! Fun! I'm so. a simple person, okay. Uh -huh. There's a fair amount of pandering in this adventure, so please enjoy. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> squawk, 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 uh -huh. squawker. Squawk, squawk. Um, I'm very happy. So, like, there's no guild house for the Fellowship of Ravens. Mm -hmm. um, it, you know, we so it's technically like a secret society, yeah. but people in Thalberg, like, they know what it is. And yeah. essentially, the Fellowship of Ravens are the troubleshooters for the guilds. So if, like, shit is going down and, you know, they need some specialists to go take care of guild problems. Right. It's uh, a guild without a house, yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, so you guys are, are part of that fellowship, um, and your leadership um, has sent you to the Dwarf Brewers Guild. I, I agree with uh, this as well. <laughs> Oh, good. Yep. <laughs> uh, Accurate. This just keeps getting better it. and yeah. better. <laughs> yeah. Nailed it. Right? Uh, because they have a, a job for Whoa. you all. Um, so uh, you are shown into the office of uh, a dwarf named Gunnar Kleist. Um, he is a, kind of a scarred faced ex mercenary who is now uh, a high official in the Dwarf Brewers Guild. Um, and uh, he uh, invites you into his office and, uh, and bids you to sit down. Uh, he says, uh, sisters and brothers, I, I, I want to thank you for coming. The Dwarf Brewers Guild needs the assistance of your fellowship. And to explain what needs to happen, it's best if we start with a toast. So he produces a growler and some glasses and he pours out like a dark brew. And I like him already. Right? Great. <laughs> Fun. Dwarf Brewers Guild. Fun times. Um, and so he gives you each a glass and, uh, and says, to the fellows of the crafts. To the fellows! <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll just yeah. go along with this. So you drink this beer. It's uh, similar to a porter, but it's Love it. like... Love everything about it. Insanely delicious. Like, yeah. Some of the best beer that you've ever had. I drink too had. much. <laughs> <laughs> Just I'm a no. Table, like, done. I'm very small. Uh, you have like two thimbles. Yeah. I was mm -hmm. like, what did I tell you about her? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what you're drinking now is called the Fire Veerm Brew. This is the pinnacle of our guild's craft. It's made with rare ingredients in a secret recipe. It's brewed in small batches. Goes for a hefty price here in Thalberg. Goes for even more. In other cities. Oh, cool. How much more? Um, <laughs> it depends on how far. Um, you know, I'm just, I mean, I'm just saying our, you know, our businessman over here, um, woman, <laughs> man or woman, whatever. I'm holding the umbrella. <laughs> I, I think very strategically about how I'm going to invest, so I need more information. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a brewery. <laughs> holding the umbrella. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. It's not raining, and we're inside. <laughs> <laughs> I have very delicate skin. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take care of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a brewery in Freeport called the Three Circles Brewery, yeah, uh, which we've never heard of before. But the there is a festival coming up in that city, a festival called Swag Fest, <laughs> uh, which celebrates a, a great raid that the pirate forebears of the city uh, launched against uh, the continent here. And uh, this brewery is claiming that they're going to sell. Fire Veer Brew for one copper a mug, and uh, they claim that they're going to give the common man a taste of what the elites enjoy. I mean, are we going to allow this to happen? I don't. I don't know. 
Well, do you want this to happen? I don't know. I think it's fiscally irresponsible. I, I, I might agree it's, with that. At the end of the day, it's about brand dilution. Mm -hmm. I'm drunk <laughs> holding an umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here. So do you want to do you want to be the face of the organization? Yeah. Like I mean, are you our? Because you're because you're guy? jumping out, and I just I want to I want to respect it, and I want to <laughs> elevate you. Do you do you want to do you want to run this shit? I want all the glory and none of the responsibility. <laughs> well, we'll do right. all the yeah, stuff. Yeah, we, we, we got you. You just have to kind of oh, talk for us. I understand. Us. Yeah. I will gladly be your figurehead. <laughs> Marvelous. Go. Zero How power. How handsome are you? Uh, are you a woman or a man? I don't care. Yeah. I mean, I don't really know. I don't really think about that sort of thing. Perfect. Well, you know. How, like, did, did I just, I, I just glisten a lot. Cool. That's all I need. Umbrella. <laughs> So, the Dwarf Brewers Guild, we need to discover if our recipe has in fact been compromised or if, you know, if this is a charlatan. Um, so what I'd like you to do is go to Freeport, steal the recipe from the Three Circles Brewery, yes. and I want you to assess it to see if it is authentic. Um, Does this involve him giving us... An how would we know if it was authentic? I'll tell you. This is so oh. dangerous. But this is very dangerous for him to give right? this, mm -hmm. right? All right. I mean, I don't know about I, you. I've never had a chance to try this myself. Yeah. So I I'm would not excited. tell what I'm about to tell you to a typical group of mercenaries. But hey, we're not since, typical. Since you are from the Fellowship of Ravens, uh, I believe you can be trusted. Uh, that's irresponsible of you, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I know that, you know, should you abscond with our secrets, that your leadership will hunt you down and murder you, so that's just fine. Real comfort Note there. to yeah. self. <laughs> Don't fuck this up. Um, so, um, you noted, I'm sure, the, the smoky taste that this mm -hmm. brew had. Um, that comes from a special malted barley that we use, mm. and uh, some think that we use the veerlings of red dragons to toast Ooh. the barley, uh, and we encourage that belief uh, with the name of the brew. Uh, the truth, though, is that we use um, an elemental creature called a thakwa, uh, which is uh, sort of a mix of fire and earth elemental. Um, a magma sort of creature. Yes. Yeah. We find that the, the heat from the thakwa is steadier, and it imparts an earthiness to the I love the, the pragmatism <laughs> of this bound element. <laughs> right? I'm into this. Yeah. Yeah. So, there are other ingredients in I'm the recipe. I'm a foodie. Mm -hmm. yeah. My character's a foodie. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to know what it was like to brew yeah. with a farqua. Yeah. Okay. My character's a foodie. Her name's Brioche. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you guys can make this beer next week. I, I, I think we, yeah, I think we got it. <laughs> uh, so, um, you know, there's other secrets to our recipe and other secret ingredients, but basically, if it doesn't have the thawk with toasted barley, then it is not authentic. So that's what you should look for. Yeah, um, yeah. If they have uh, stolen our recipe, you are to shut them down using any means necessary. Any means. Any means. Right. Yes. Both axes and pistols. Please. Love it. <laughs> yeah, I saw another that. hand comes out it's somehow. Like, All right, pops up. <laughs> All right, I, covered. Uh, this is yeah. This is great. This is a solid, a solid hook. All right, so I um, I have arranged a ship for you, leaving tomorrow for Freeport. Um, it's a three day sail. The festival is in five days, so you need to find out what is happening in the Three Circles Brewery before then. Um, once you get there. Uh, there is a tavern in the docks area called the Dented Helm. Uh, it's run by a dwarf named Garrick. He is a member of our guild, um, and he can give you local intelligence. Yeah, excellent. Mm -hmm. What kind of beer does he like? Um, <laughs> he, he likes all sorts. Okay. Yeah. It's really thoughtful he of you to ask. Is I know, right? Drunk. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, uh, I'm going to give you 100 silver pieces each for expenses. So, here's <gasps> some money. Whoa, we got here's some coins. money. Ah! <laughs> Cash? Yeah. Woo! Oh, I love oh, this is great. <laughs> These Sweet. are uh, Freeport coins made oh, by wow. Campaign Coins. Oh, oh so no, no. Fantastic. I have a yeah. ton of the, uh, the Dwarven ones from them. Yeah. So, they've got a skull and cross ones on one side. They oh, have I love the little aging around the corners. Yeah. The stressing. The emblem of Freeport on the other side. I'm there into that. Go. 
And you guys can keep those. So Thank you. Enjoy. Mm-hmm. It's very countable. I'm right? rubbing my face on mine. <laughs> so the emblem, <laughs> the emblem of Freeport is like a, an hourglass with wings? Yes. Wow. It's an old pirate emblem that basically means like, if you see us, your time is running out. There yeah. we go. Momentum <laughs> Yeah. 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 All right. Do you have any questions for me? So I, I anything to burn this place? I mean, <laughs> down. What's? I want to know everyone's names. Oh right. That's oh. Right. What good point, Holly. Well, we've, we've, we've known each other for <laughs> yeah. You, years. Wait, you're telling me you don't know my name by now? <laughs> what? <laughs> the, you know, I don't know. No, There's a it, lot of asbestos here. Okay, <laughs> my brain's a little messed no, no, up. Right, but it's the sort of thing where it's like you know, we always. You know, but it, it's gonna be the classic adventuring every, party thing where. We meet in an inn every time, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. then we finish in an inn, <laughs> yeah. and so we've never been sober once. Yeah, then we like, don't know our like names. Friends. Not at all. Right? Exactly. Like, we just meet at Central no, Park. It's like it's like brioche. You wound me. Yeah. I'm sorry. My, I like bread. <laughs> That's marvelous. Listen, Cadman Frist. Okay. And I hold. I extend my hand Cad- in the classic. After I'm done writing your name down, I extend my hand as well, and I shake your hand and say, "Hello." Yes, we've known each other for a long time. Yes. Yeah. Frist, just Frist, Captain yeah. Frist. You got it. Okay. Yeah, Grim Grimdall Dale Haven. I mean, you could have remembered after maybe, I don't know, the tenth time we've gone the out together. The best part would the best part would be like after like a like a really big job, like you got tattoos of yeah, all yeah, the yeah. names. Yeah. It's like <laughs> you're like, like Grimdall is the <laughs> best, like going down your arm. <laughs> Tiny gnome arm. I'm just yeah. everyone's name. I'm just like, oh, is yeah. that what that? Those are the people. I yeah. Know. yeah. Oh, like, all right. Literally every person you've ever adventured yeah. with. Yeah. She's not very smart, so I'm just imagining that that's the case. That's fine. Is your name Brioche? Yes, my name is Brioche. Yeah, You're I very knew that. Buttery. Yeah, I'm very he knew that. And sweet. I think that one knew it. Basically. Just saying, Brioche. But you're like a you've, you're a little pastry, basically. Yeah. Mm. A little pastry. But could a little be muffin. savory if yeah. you feel like it. Could be. That's fine. Yeah. I'm a foodie. Jessica? I'm Belladonna. I mm. think it's super, super, super unique and not at all on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Very good. Um, so I'm, each I'm of you. Saying, I, I know my friends' names. <laughs> uh, if you would like, you guys could give yourselves a trade focus since you're coming out of this guild background. Can oh, Rich be a trade focus? Fucking <laughs> 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 Rich. <laughs> Just Rich. I like to call myself independently wealthy. Uh huh. You can call yourself that. <laughs> Although you are upper class, right? You're upper class. Yeah, yeah. you're fine. Yeah, yeah, you don't really have to do anything. Yeah, rich people get to say whatever they want, and it's automatically I'm, true. I'm a I'm a hoagie maker. <laughs> <laughs> Hogerist. Uh, Hogomancer. Yeah, um, yeah, so my social class is upper class. Does that does that functionally mean independently wealthy or does it mean like part of a trade family? Uh, so these field? are really broad. So yeah. you know, in the in the context of Thalberg, if you're originally from here, it, it could mean you're part of like a wealthy guild family. There we go. Um, but you know, if you're from other parts of the of the continents, um, you know, you could be a noble or Exactly. All sorts of things. So. But it, because I'm connected with this Ravens scenario, yeah. it's probably like a black sheep type thing, is my guess. You're a black sheep? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Like, so I'm, I'm connected, but the, the rest of the family is going to be some kind of like a uh, tea. It's going to be like a tea import export type thing. Oh, okay. So, yeah. That's cool. But, so that's, you, but you... it's very bourgeois, and I don't support it. <laughs> 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 uh, so yeah, if you want to, you can take a trade focus. Um, it's it's a little more specialized than focuses usually go in Fantasy Age, but mm-hmm. it's an option. Yeah. So if you want to have a background, in, well, basically any medieval trade craft, like you know, it's there for you. Yeah, so. this is gonna be like tea and herbs, basically. All right, sounds good. Tea. And if you want to decide that later, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, Kleist says um, if there's no further questions, uh, you can catch your ship tomorrow. Um, it is called the Brazen Maiden. It is commanded by Captain Ferric Ridley. I knew Ferric once. <laughs> Just once. <laughs> All right. I have taken careful notes. Mm. 
All right, so the next day, uh, you guys meet down the docks. Mm -hmm. um, you get situated on your ship, and uh, you guys are able to cast off without any difficulties. So how long does it, is it, you said it was in the southeast of the continent. Yeah. It's a three days journey, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's, we've got some traveling. You do have a little traveling. Gotcha. Yes. How much alcohol is on this ship? Uh, you know, I mean, a fair bit, because ships often travel with alcohol. Um, well, and also the Brewers Guild yeah. put us on this ship. Right. So that's my true. suspicion is that there's some some product. So yes. I'll sip a thimble or two and then get trashed. <laughs> and so we're, we're having a great time. Yeah, yeah grand old time on this on this. There's boat. probably some ports, you know. That there's was a new it. name on my arm and I'm like, I don't know who this is. <laughs> <laughs> um, so things go well for a couple of days, and then you guys get caught up in a, like a huge storm, <laughs> um, and you've spent basically like a couple of days being tossed, you know, across the waves. Um, I didn't sign up for this. Yeah, it is really bad times. You know, it's like you are worried at several points that the ship is just going to flip over or be crushed under the waves. Um, so, I'm throwing up. Yeah, it, yeah you're I, don't, I don't know if it's up. the beer or the ship that's causing me to throw but, up. But my mental image for Grimm is it's, like his <gasps> belly, no, no, it's like his, he is sort of, his body's in a V shape, <laughs> like over the, over the, uh, over the rail, like, yeah, over the that's rail. What I was thinking. And it's I'm like, like uh, no matter where the boat goes, like you're, you're sort of situated on there, cozy, comfy, <laughs> but it's like you're ready to vomit at any time. At any time. <laughs> every, every, any, I'm ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> it's rough. It's rough season. Rough voyage. Uh, so, after spending a couple of days praying to whatever gods you might have, Porcelain. Uh, uh, the storm finally blows itself out. Um, and then you spend a little time being becalmed, which is like not as bad, but also pretty bad for being on a schedule. Okay, uh, so, uh, I was gonna say, so, I mean, the reason this sucks is because this is, our job is to take place before a specific time. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've lost time. Yeah. You have lost time. Um, so, um, at the end of this voyage, um, you essentially limp into Freeport the morning of the day um. that you need to do the job. So, um... <laughs> uh, boss, just saying, what happened? Well, I accidentally touched someone on the crew, and I am quite distraught. <laughs> I have a little bit of soot on my hand, so we need to get that off immediately. Yeah. That's job one. <laughs> first things first. Secondly, let's uh, you know, let's let's back back up and and do some investigating. That sounds like a smart person thing to say. Mm -hmm. I, I have the utmost confidence. Do you? Oh yeah. Okay. I yeah. am a I'm leader. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am a leader. Uh, Say things like scrum and, you know... Mm, agile bit, development. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're just optimizing everything, <laughs> left and right. She's got three Synergy. by five cards for yeah, 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 yeah. I want to see you write up later. <laughs> I can't write, I'm illiterate. Nope. <laughs> it's okay, you serve a very important function. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't the gnome the last person who should be holding an umbrella? Yes, oh yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> the point, she's really not doing anything. No, yeah. it's terrible. <laughs> It hits me on the head all the time. Yeah, yeah it's just too much Constant. weight for her. Yeah, she can really can't hold it at all. It's like a hat. <laughs> uh, so you sail into Freeport Harbor. Um, you can see this map in front of you, which gives you a basic lay of the land. Um, so Freeport is divided up into districts. Uh, in the center there is, uh, is the old city. Uh, that's actually like the walled area. There's some central like government buildings and things. Um, and then there's uh, a bunch of other parts of town. Uh, just briefly, like the docks is the center of commerce. Scurvy town is the poor ass depressing part of town. It's scurvy town. It's scurvy yes, town. It's scurvy. Yeah. I'm picking up what you're putting down, man. Right? I, I get it. Uh, Eastern district is sort of the aspiring middle class. Uh, blood salt oh. is like an orc and hobgoblin slum. Oh, we will. Um, <laughs> blood salt? <laughs> yeah, blood salt. Uh, the warehouse district, self-explanatory. Merchant district is where the rich folks live. Temple district is focused on the religious community. I love this map. Um, yeah, the map is by a guy named Andy Law. He's terrific. Um, and, uh, and then Drax End is sort of like where the city's kind of extending a bit. And this is sort of mixed dwellings that started as temporary and have become more permanent as 
more people flood into the city. So Freeport is known as like the crossroads of the world because uh, its location is such uh, that, you know, trading ships from all over pass through here to and from the continent. So as you sail in, you can see ships of many varieties. Uh, you know, Tourist from... trap. <laughs> That's right. They're going to play some Sammy Hagar for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they have one of those like little clampy dinosaur things you buy at like a yeah. oh, like, yeah. <laughs> big barrel of them. <laughs> I, want, I want one of those. Mm -hmm. There is a Margaritaville on the docks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. if anything, because then I can hold the umbrella up higher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. They want to know what your shore excursions are going to yeah. be. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Uh, so uh, you guys, uh, the Brazen Maiden puts in in the um, docks area. Um, it is about ten in the morning, um, and. Uh, and here you are. You're in Freeport. All right. So, so first things first, we need to find the dented helm. That is correct. So we can talk to our guild contact. Yes. Let's see. Who was who the uh, contact? His name is Garrick. Gar mm -hmm. Garrick. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that is number eleven on the map here. Cool. So you're going right bar. There we. There we go. There you go. All right, uh, so you pretty easily find the dented helm as it's right off the docks, and um, it is a uh, sort of uh, a dive, but kind of a lovable dive. Yeah. You know, if you enjoy the dive, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's the right. It's it, the right kind of dive. It's the sort yeah. of dive that would be featured on a show about dives. Yes. No, yeah. <laughs> Not an actual like crater full right. of blood and bones. Yeah. Right. No, this is on dives and dives. Yeah. <laughs> dives and dives. Yeah. <laughs> Right, yeah, so, so so we head in. All right. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so you go inside, um, you know, it's got, like, the sort of tables that you can tell they haven't spent too much money on. I they pushed Belladonna right tail. up to the bar. Uh -huh. Yeah. And just get to work. Uh, excuse me. I would like a bespoke drink for myself <laughs> and all of my companions. I have it on the dinosaur hand now. So oh, so, 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 so you're getting like <laughs> three extra feet yeah, there. Yeah, so it's actually like above their head. <laughs> the tines are no longer blinding her. No. Nice. No, I'm doing my job right now. And I'm just mouthing the quietly, like silently, I'm mouthing the word bespoke. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, You've seen this before. Mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you're not from around here. With that, your fancy talk. That's mm -hmm. rather presumptuous of you, but sure. <laughs> sure. What can I get you? May I introduce you to my right hand brioche? Brioche, <laughs> brioche will be ordering for us. <laughs> brioche. I don't know. We're talking about remember this. Our no, we didn't talk about our drinks. <laughs> She just like holds the dinosaur towards the uh -huh. and he's just like. <laughs> what would you like? I've got a cask ale. Uh, I've got a, a darker brew. We'll take the, the cask ale. All right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> is the dinosaur saying yeah, yeah, yes? Like <laughs> oh, this is the best. This is already, <laughs> top of this is already the greatest role playing game that's ever been played. <laughs> <Done. today. laughs> I accept this praise. Yeah. <laughs> but then he goes back to grabbing the umbrella. I was like. <laughs> Uh, just off the boat, are you? Mm. Uh, I, I don't think we'll be telling you that much information. <laughs> <laughs> no, As ye so. wish. <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'm, I'm waiting yeah. for this. I'm waiting for this glass so that I can get away yeah. sort of from this situation. Uh -huh. yeah, I'm just kind of backing up a little <laughs> and just. Yeah, so he serves you up. Very uh, exposed. Yeah. You know, a very very reasonable. Will whisper casket. a few things like about what kind of like truly like good fare that she wants everyone to have, but she just doesn't want to say it out loud. I see. <laughs> Let's talk about the guilt. Brioche yeah. is shy. What? <laughs> yeah, she's very shy. She's shy. Yeah, she just wants to help out her crew and get them the best food. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So I say, I say, you know, we're looking for uh, Garrick. That's me. Oh, this is marvelous news. Uh, we were very, very, very recently in contact uh, with the master of your guild on the continent. Mm. And uh, he took us into a certain confidence. I've uh, been expecting. Indeed, about a recipe and some of the secrets, perhaps, that are uh, connected with its manufacture. As you say, secrets, she just like slips him some coins. Mm, all right. 
really slide, but not <laughs> yeah. slide all the time. <laughs> but I, but, no, no, but, but I, I see the coins, and I'm just like, this mm-hmm. doesn't hurt me at all. In mm-hmm. fact, it probably helps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just Maybe feel, uh, we'll get a cheese plate out of this <laughs> one. A little nod. Yeah, yeah a charcuterie. It might come out of her mouth. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. It's like his hand, his hand is like on the, on the bar, and you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> And it's like five uh, bucks in yeah, coins. Yeah, there's like five coins. Like, <laughs> but so then she's like, wink. Yeah. He motions to another dwarf to take over the bar area, and he's like, come with me. Yeah, indeed. And so he takes you into the corner, <clears throat> and he's like, ah, so, tis I who alerted the guild about this uh, festival. I say, Garrick, do you, do you think they could possibly have access? Why is the guild so up in arms about this? Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the idea that a jumped up brewery that no one's even heard of would have the secret to fire Veer Mail, it just beggars it's, the imagination. It's, it's horrible. And you know, I'm, I'm Freeport born and bred, and I, yeah, I've never heard of this Three Circles brewery. Oh, yeah. Recipe mm. thieves, I'm not having that for my dwarves. <clears throat> I say it's very interesting. So, do you have maps uh, of the town that we can utilize to find this place? Uh, well, you're gonna have to figure it out because I don't know. Where oh, it is. hold on. So you're you're from here and you've yes. never heard of it? No. You don't even know where it is. Nope. So where whereabouts is the festival being held? Well, so a swag fest happens all over Freeport. It's a great tradition here. Games, political speeches, drinking, mayhem. You know, it's a good. Time. It's all the same. Yeah. I mean, yeah. but yeah. you repeat yourself. <laughs> um, the. The Fire Virum Festival, as the Three Circles Brewery calls it, is supposed to happen <coughs> in Scurvy Town. Oh, mm. yeah. mm-hmm. that's where we gotta go. Um, I mean, <laughs> the only lead I have for you is that after talking to my contacts, I discovered that another brewery in town, Strebex Beer Hall, oh. which is in the Eastern District, the story has it that they lent the Three Circles Brewery some of their equipment once. So you might want to talk to them. Interesting. Mm. You know, they, they were helping out. You okay. know, start up, I get it. Exactly. So Fireworm Festival is happening all over, but um, if we can hit this place up, maybe there's a play there. Yeah. Do mm-hmm. we want to go to Scurvy Town right away? I don't think so. Maybe hit the Eastern District. Well, yeah. Stre- to, Strebix uh, first. Strebix. Yeah. Seems like a good play. Do you want us to take the responsibility of making this decision off of you? Uh, or, or, or do we want to <laughs> do, do we want to split? I believe in distributed leadership. <laughs> Man, this, God, is this is incredible. Yeah. This is the real deal. Yeah. <laughs> it's your time to shine, boys. <laughs> that coin go. I'm sorry, I spit it on you. <laughs> it's yours anyway. Here you are. Wait, I'm a replacement. You take it. Mm, well, the I'm provenance asking, of these coins. Yeah, I'm not I'm asking, asking any hard questions asking, here. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, no, I support this 100. Mm. percent my, my my suspicion is that let's start at Strebex and then we'll sp- we'll start to fan out in the town. That's All my right. guess. That's my guess. Okay. Um, so uh, yeah, you can uh, basically hire like a, a guide. Oh yeah. yes. Um, <laughs> Freeport sort uh, of I'm, is there is there a, like a street urchin that I can find that's like just <laughs> literally begging for coin that yeah. could oh, really I just, like, I just hand it straight over I hand the coin tout. literal we need a tout. <laughs> exactly yeah. we need we need the little lantern <laughs> yes. kids yeah yeah yes um, so Garrett um, he is able to rustle up what mm-hmm. he considers to be a trustworthy young lad mm-hmm. uh, to guide you around marvelous it's like. Freeport, we don't really have street signs here, so it's yeah. hard for newcomers to get around. Yeah. It's good. I hate them. <laughs> if there's anyone that like looks like super like Johnny Depp piratey, I'm gonna avoid them. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, are there the many sta- of those here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Staggers so, like free- filled with them. Freeport is a city that was founded by pirates. It eventually, to prevent the continent from basically destroying it for all of its predations. Um, so we're they, in the we're in the we're we're in the dumpster. Well, kinda. So <laughs> at a, uh, we're in like the the very worst Reddit subreddit. So no, that the no, rest it's of worse. Reddit can no, stay it is clean. worse than that. We're in a proud dumpster. Yes, <laughs> we're in a dumpster uh, that uh, is proud of its dumpster status. <laughs> so at a certain point, yeah. this, the city essentially went legit. 
okay. and uh, and so instead of Rita. there there are yeah. pirates Rita. who yeah. who still Rita. come here, but basically <laughs> like the city has a privateer fleet, okay. right. and they hire the privateers out every season to work for various other countries. There we mm-hmm. go. And do Letters of Mark. legalized mm-hmm. piracy, basically. Cool, cool, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just saying, if they look like Johnny Depp, I want nothing to do with it. All right, that's fair. <laughs> the hard pass. Hard oh, yeah. pass. Well, the key is the key is the mm. key for me for that specific sort of Depp. Uh, channel of piracy the is the well the mascara. That, listen, yes. that can't happen. But it's it's the arm extension and the twist. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It has to do with the shoulder. Yeah, I don't want that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But just let's mm-hmm. make like a a firm stance that anyone who can dislocate any part of their body uh-huh. <laughs> is something we don't want to deal on with on the street. No. Yeah, on the street. <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah, that, that's instant that's, combat. Listen, that's upper class thinking, and I don't know if I can stand for too much of it. Also, uh, boss, also, you sorry. know, just I like mean, sorry, boss. It's okay. White guys with dreadlocks. Let's just not get into that at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like ninety five percent of this doc. Yeah. <laughs> and you know that. <laughs> all right, now, um, so so yeah. First things first. Yeah. Um, I, I inspire this young tout with a, yes. a quick flick to the back of the head. <laughs> Without leading you. Is that that's inspiration? Oof. Oh, he's he's I'm accountable, he's responsible. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. It's just guns and mm. pistols. <laughs> uh so your urchin is named Eli. Uh, Eli, ooh, that's good. Uh, yeah. I love it. I, I slip him another coin. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I want Eli to be my friend because we're probably the same height. <laughs> I see that she slips Eli a coin and uh-huh. I slip Eli a second coin. Oh, Ugh. all right. <laughs> I'm like, that's all you get, Eli. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, bro. You're up against it now. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. All right, so Eli uh, leads you through the docks and into the eastern district. Indeed. Um, the middle class, you said? Yes. Mm-hmm. So this is basically like, you know, the people trying to claw their way up the social ladder in Freeport. So you see like some townhouses and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a big plaza in the, the middle um, where all, all sorts of stuff going on. There's some market activity. There's, uh, you know, some people uh, practicing like a rapier fighting and you know, so kind of so presumably there's probably also a few people getting set up for the fire Verum festival uh, well so the swag fest is the overall festival yeah, yeah, yeah. the fire Verum part is happening in oh, scurvy town in scurvy specific okay. scurvy town okay gotcha so but yes uh, basically once everyone gets off work today swag fest begins it's on and yes it is on um, so so yes, you see there is a lot of setup happening. Um, so Eli leads you um, to this, uh, uh, it's basically a brewery plus a beer hall. Okay. Um, so it's it's big, It's you know, it fits about 200 people. Oh wow. Yeah. Um, Yowza. Yep. And um, <laughs> you can see why I thought this adventure would be a good one for yeah. today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes. Um, it is run by a guy named Nathan Strebick. He's the brewmaster, mm-hmm. uh, and he is a half elf. So uh, when you arrive, you can see him. He's you know, in sort of a dirty smock, kind of directing people. Mm-hmm. You know, there's brewing happening. There's table service. There's food. It's you know. Well, yeah, and they're also getting ready for exactly. Swag Fest. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you can see, like, you, what you're guessing is an extra large amount of casks. You know, being. Put in different rolled around. Yeah. You go talk to him. He's half elf. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Full elf. Go talk to him. I know. I'm going to have to stoop to conquer, but <laughs> yeah. it's fine. I, I, I throw Eli another coin and be like, just keep watch out. I give him. Wow, yeah, I give smart. him a third coin. Yeah. <laughs> well, what is this? I give him a fourth I'm, coin. My Eli. <laughs> my Eli coin. faction. Uh-huh. It's going through the roof right, right now. <laughs> my Eli faction is is going this I, way. I give him a fourth coin. And tell him to give me a back massage. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Well, I mean, you are short enough that he could get through that. Yeah, good. convenience yeah. itself. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's perfect. All right, so is it Belladonna? So, hold, 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 did, you, did you just prepare? <laughs> did you just prepare a hair scenario? Yeah. <laughs> you come up to the, you come up to the bar. Wait, wait. I, 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 I walk in and I'm, I'm going, I walk in front of Belladonna and mm-hmm. go right up to him and say, excuse me, sir. Um, yes. Are, are, uh, my... Um, is your mistress? I, I, no, not mistress. <laughs> she is a boss that I respect deeply. She, um, I have worked for her family for many years and she um, really would like to speak with you uh, about what you've been doing. She uh, is very impressed 
with, with your operation here and just has some words and would like to you know, speak with you. Well, it's a busy day, but uh, I can spare a few minutes. Wow. We'll meet uh, <laughs> Bella <Donna. laughs> <laughs> Presenting. <laughs> the, the, the hair in front of the face is very good. I'm just like, hello. <laughs> As I meant to. I'm spinning coins. <laughs> just like, Brioche my, has all of my money mm-hmm. in my mouth. In her mouth, in her cheeks, <laughs> in her squirrels. All of it. Uh, you may kiss my ring. <laughs> Does this say this is free port, you know? Well, yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, what can I do for you, ma'am? Well, what can we do for you? I think. I don't know. I. This is as far as I've gotten in my thoughts. So I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to hand it over to my team, uh, my talented team. Do you she, think she is a woman of few words? But <laughs> those words are. Usually specific. Yeah. Like the strokes of a master yes. swordsman. Yes. Just look at my hair again. Mm-hmm. Would the, a little bit of beer perhaps <laughs> Money, uh, lubricate cheeks. your thoughts? Well, no, no exactly. But, <laughs> but it's like, but like the tips are like in mugs. <laughs> and so eventually it's just getting heavier and oh, heavier. God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> exactly. I, say I just that. like hold my sad little gnome hand out for a drink. <laughs> yeah. I, I say, I say, just what? Just a thimble. Uh-huh. Say, what? Two. What Belladonna means to say. Um, is that uh, we uh, have heard um, in our role as uh, beer uh, from the liquor uh, board. Yeah, yeah. Well, beer naturally. ravens. We're from the liquor board. Yeah. We're called the Ravens. So you, I'm sure you've heard of us. And uh, we're not super big in Freeport yet, but obviously managing the. Well, um, well, I mean, think about all the think about all the breweries in town. I mean, we, yeah. we we have a lot of work on our hands. Yeah. Long story short. Um, we have heard uh, that Fire Verum Ale is uh, going to be served in a context not in keeping uh, with the uh, the original manufacturer. And our understanding is that uh, the the creators of this local infringement um, utilized equipment on loan from Strebix. I'm not saying that that's what happened. I'm mm-hmm. saying that that's what I heard. And we're not what? saying it's your fault. But it could be. It's, an, it's not <laughs> not your I fault. Uh huh. Well not, put. Okay. Well put, mistress. Well put. It's not not your fault. Uh, I don't even know what that means. I mean, I don't know what board you're talking about, but the liquor board. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> so it's actually, just a giant board with a couple of bottles on it's it. It's like plywood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is like taped on there. I did. Rent some equipment to a man who said he was from the Three Circles Brewery, which mm. I had never heard of before. Yes, no uh, one has. Yes, it's a little mysterious. Um, and uh, I have to say, it was not a good experience. Really? Did they not right? pay you? Tell us more. Um, I was paid, um, but uh, I let them use one of my kettles to make a, a batch of their brew. Um, and I don't know what they did to it exactly. Oh no, but it's we, legit. We all, we all know where it's this goes. It's completely legit. It's a goddamn sour they ale. They do Jesus. have it. No, it's not a sour. <laughs> I think they fucked up his kennel with yeah. a fakwas. The goddamn fakwa. So the following week, my men who worked on that kettle all got sick. <laughs> and so I ended up having to destroy it because I couldn't use it. The whole kettle? Yeah. I, I, I don't even hide how scandalized yeah. I am. <laughs> <laughs> In my guys, I say, you know, we at the liquor board, I mean, obviously we know about this. Like, we are, you know, hip deep in your art, sir. Uh, I can't say that I've heard of the necessary destruction of a kettle after a. But we a could help, and then like you just hear, my, you see my pistol come out and just click. <laughs> I see what, I'm just like, ah! <laughs> see what, who, I mean, I mean uh, sorry. So, 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 do you, sorry. So, do you have. I mean, where where was this? Would it be possible for us to look at this kettle? First of all, second, do you happen to have even a sample of this of this uh, vile substance? And third, is there any way we could get in contact with the person who uh, tried to rent this equipment? Uh, to answer your third question first, um, the person that I dealt with was named Andrick Hargrave. Um, he was not a villainous name. Mm. <laughs> Indeed, I ne- never trust an Ambrick, yeah. is what I always used to say. Um, he was not a native Freeporter from his of course not. speech and not like us. manners. 
<laughs> uh, you amuse me, sir. Um, <laughs> um, and yes, he, I mean, whatever he brewed, he took with him, and uh, I, we did not keep the kettle. We, we threw it in the garbage, so. I immediately go out to the garbage to find it. Well, this was a while ago. So. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I'm still in the garbage. <laughs> while my right hand Brio, she's in the garbage. I'd like to buy her a little present. Can I please get the pony outside for Brioche? <laughs> the pony? The pony outside. I don't care whose it is. Uh-huh. I want it for Brioche. Maybe like, to, she's just to not buy the it? best business person. Yes, Maybe. I want to buy the pony for Brioche. Did, did we make a okay? Error? Was there a pony? Uh. <laughs> um, well, hey, let's have you roll some dice, because why not? That's a point game. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> why don't you make a communication bargaining test yeah, yeah. if she you has, have bargaining? She has pun sense. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> well, here, you, you can actually 11. roll right in the tray if you okay. want to. 11. Oh, yeah. You oh, yeah, 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 if you want to spend a little time, can find a pony for her in the Eastern District. Uh, I assume that y- that that is something one of your men will handle, and we will continue going. And when the pony arrives, you will send her for us. Damn. Okay. Maybe I was. Wrong. She's a good <laughs> business person. She's a good. Bi- yeah. I don't know what you think is happening here exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but is there a barrel uh, of beer on the pony? <laughs> <laughs> you, I, I, I have complete confidence that you will handle this. Let us resume with business. Very well. So do, do we got? Do I we, say, you know, as you know, as we suggested before, a a, a penetrating <laughs> insight. Um, few words, but but those words dexterous, mm. uh, dexterous in their in their power and subtlety. So, uh, indeed. So, and this Andric Hargrave. Yes. Destroyed your kettle. Now, yes. now, did he did he pay Machine. well? Uh, not. I mean, you know, reasonably, but it wasn't extravagant. And I have not been able to find him again to pay for the kettle. Well, it is it is our intention to uh, to find him. I assume this information would be of value to you as well. Well, if, certainly, if I could get my investment back from my kettle, I mean. Good brewing kettles are not cheap, as I'm oh, sure you oh, understand. Oh, well, uh, we, uh, we of the liquor board are, are <laughs> well, uh, well versed in this matter. I mm-hmm. hold up a board covered in liquor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just dripping. <laughs> just dripping. <laughs> I say, I say, yes, sir. Well, I mean, you, you obviously, mm-hmm. uh, you understand exactly uh, what I'm saying, uh, Nathan. Can I call you? You may. Okay. Listen, uh, we're gonna try. Uh, we're going to see what we can do to make this connection. We're going to try to find this person who uh, abused you thus. Did you guys deliver the kettle to said brewery, or did they pick it up? No, no, they they basically came here and Bro, used it. Yeah. 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 Are we going to take these guys out? Oh, yeah. I mean, 100%. I wouldn't... Look, he's got both of his axes. And, and a I mean, pistol. Uh, here, put, put, put the axes out, right? And then, now the axes are out. Then they got the pistol <laughs> right here. So yeah, so so I say that's the situation. I say, do you have any idea? I mean, I understand that you have you have sought out this brigand, but do you have any idea where he might be in town? Um, I don't know where he is. If uh, if you want to, maybe talk to some people who might know him. I would suggest stopping in at the cafe Ilkin. It is a uh, Kava cafe. Oh, um, wow. and I, I uh, say no more. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen. It is basically what happens on Kava stays. Yeah. On Kava. It is basically where um, like exiles from the continent come. It's I like the see. radical political sets. Oh. You know, they they hang out, they drink Kava, they talk about the revolutions. I see. They're going to. I have. understand this may be a sensitive question, but yes. was Andrew Hargrave a, a dwarf? Why is it always got to be a dwarf thing with you? Well, no, <laughs> every freaking time. It's not that. I just, I'm just trying to figure out if Andrik Hargrave was in fact a disgruntled <coughs> former member oh. of the a, guild. A reasonable question. Uh, okay, so so he so he was and he was not known to you of the guild. No. Um, and he did not tell you, of course, that it was his intention to brew fireworm. No. That is information that would, of course, get back. 
to the guild on the continent, if it were the case. Now would be an excellent time for truth. I believe we've been speaking truth. Yes, I, I think so. But, as I suggested, this is the sort of information that may be uh, of some interest to the liquor board. Contro- <laughs> controlling controlling this mm-hmm. this intellectual property. I mean, each brewery. Of course, you have your recipes. I'm sure you wouldn't like someone else to seize no, them. I, I would not. Um, but also, I've been in this business my entire life, and I've never heard of the liquor board. So, well, um, as yeah, a threat, that's, that's that's not really that's not on us. I mean, yeah. that's I mean, you need to get out. I mean, mm-hmm. that's the reality is that you're <laughs> you're cooped up in here. Uh, well, I mean. We deal with the Sea Lord's rules, and uh, well, yeah, sea he Lords. doesn't have too many, but... Uh, yeah. All right, well, I'm sure you're correct. All right, <laughs> this, is, this is great information. So, we, so basically, we need, to, uh, we need to track down this Andrick Hargrave mm. individual, if we can, and then go that way. I'm outside just going, pony, 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 pony. <laughs> just, just, it's no, just not coming, though. No, it's, it's, <laughs> the, it's just like ponies are walking back and forth, yeah. and you're just like, you, it's like a dog. Like, yeah. you chase them far yeah, enough. It's like tiny little, no, like, pony, 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 <laughs> pony. Yeah, she doesn't know what she's doing. You have noticed in Freeport, generally, there's not, like, a ton of horses. Um, it's, it's more she's than chasing people. City, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you occasionally see a carriage or, yeah. you know. Yeah, some, she's chasing a carriage. Yeah. So that's very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what is it? What are, where are, so where do, are we, our do we have steps? anything to go on besides the name? Yeah, we're going to the, the, the Kava. Oh, yeah, the, the Kava. The Kava, Kava yeah. Cafe Ilkin. Have, Cafe yep. Ilkin. That's mm-hmm. our next step. Yep. So we can. I will find a carriage that's going there and follow behind it as if it's a pony and take us to <laughs> Cafe Ilkin. This is uh, why she is our right hand. Uh, oh yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Just the olfactory capacity yeah. of this. I'm like. Of this gnome, is world class. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, where where's um Second who is our little uh, guide? Eli. Eli is he? Co- I mean, we really, got him? Eli. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Eli's really with her, well, probably telling her where to go. He's say, real happy right now because you've already paid him. Well, no, Eli, Eli, Eli yeah. has made more money than uh, we have yeah, yeah. so yeah. far. I say Eli. Uh, Belladonna's actually mad because this is yeah. fiscally irresponsible. Yeah. Exactly. At this point. We are in the red. Yeah. Boys. <laughs> say, I say uh, Eli. Listen, Cafe Ilkin, and uh, make it snappy. Dude, you giving him yes, like sir. <laughs> seven gold at this point? Yeah. yeah, he's making a lot of cash. Yeah, he's doing quite well. It's right this way. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so Cafe Elkin is also in the Eastern District, so it is not far. Um, at you what know, point does he become middle class? It's already happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's already middle class. <laughs> yeah, man, he's he's ready. He's ready for the he's ready for the Eastern District. <laughs> He's gonna buy a house right? when this is done. Already, we have done something huge here. Yeah, for the populace, like we've supported a child. Yeah, we're stimulating yeah. the economy yeah. right now. Yes, yeah. job giving directly. Yep. Uh, so you go to Cafe Ilkin. Um, it is, uh, you know, it's a coffee house. Um, you, there's lots of little cups of, you know, we, we would call Turkish or Greek coffee mm. oh, here. Th- yeah, the thick, <laughs> yeah. spicy, mm-hmm. thick, sweet. Mm-hmm. This is um, not my place. <laughs> I say, well, that's that's good because you don't get to come in. What? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did I get you? Eli. It's fine. No. Eli, let's, let's go for a drink somewhere else. No, no. You. You just take okay. the boy from I know me. that I can trust you with <laughs> yeah, this. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It's going to involve access and maybe guns. Oh. I need you at the back door. The back door? Yeah. The back door. The back door. Why? Because the things that I say in here. Are going to make a person run for the back door, and I need you to be there when it happens. Also, the pony could be delivered at any moment to any exit. <laughs> we do not know. Exactly. I've already drank like fine. seven cups of coffee. I'll now. take the back door. <laughs> the back door. The back door. Um, okay, I'm fine. I'll take the back door. The rear entrance. Just go back there, and uh, that's your job. All right. Thanks. Okay. Uh, so you are uh, greeted by a uh, a middle-aged woman. Um, she's uh, basically uh, sort of Turkish complexioned, mm-hmm. um, and um, you you notice her her eyes like have a little bit of almost like fire around the pupils. Fire worm. And um, <clears throat> you know from living in the <laughs> continent that she is what's called an an azhar. Um, they are a um, largely human race, but they claim descent from the city of Brass. So they oh. have this 
mm. kind of elemental heritage to them. I see. Yeah. Um, so she says, oh, welcome to my cafe. Can I get you some kava? Oh, yes. The most kava. The most. I'm already <laughs> drinking like a whole thing of it. And mm-hmm. I just like give her oh, some. Oh, just, just like right, right out of that like yeah, long yeah. spouted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the best the best part is that you can hold it out here and tip it and still get yeah. it right in the craw. I'm yeah. thinking for you, double sweet, you twist of lemon. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two twists. Yeah. A double twist. Exactly. So basically yeah. basically brioche is just like an electron right now. Yeah. It's just like like mm. one cup of coffee in a gnome, just like Just say Belladonna. Uh, I absorb all my nutrients through breathing, so I will, <laughs> I will pass. I'm sure you're gluten free too. I don't know what gluten is, but I don't want to. Yeah, fantasy gluten free. Does, does not agree with your elven constitution. No. no, no, or lack thereof. Exactly. I say, I say, I say, madam, this is very, very fine coffee. We are from the coffee board. <laughs> And uh, so we're in a position. Did I get you, Josh? We're in a, we're in a position to know uh, a thing or two about a thing or two. Now, um, the reason that we have uh, rolled in today is because we have heard that a fellow uh, named Hargrave, specifically Andrew Hargrave, uh, may spend uh, some quality time and some coin, perhaps, in this establishment. Um, and he has, to put it lightly. Uh, done a uh, a customer of ours wrong, and uh, oh, I see I see by this nod that uh, you know I speak the truth. This is a, a rough man, <laughs> a brigand. I say I say yeah. pay the woman. <laughs> uh, I know who you should talk to. He's is it f- is it Andrew Cargrave? Well, ultimately. Certainly. All right. So there's a, there's a uh, chain of events here. Yeah. Yes. Um, let me introduce you to a man named Blaine. He is from Pikebridge. David Blaine, mm. sorcerer, <laughs> the street sorcerer. This pen is bent. <laughs> Go like this, real fast. Um, so Pikebridge is one of the other Ivory ports. So oh, it's... one of the other towns. Yeah. Okay, so so definitely an import to mm-hmm. Freeport. Okay. So she introduces you. She's like, oh, uh, Blaine, uh, these people want to talk to you about Andrek Hargrave. And he's, uh, Hargrave, eh? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, by this laughter. Uh, my suspicion is that uh, you've perhaps run across this fellow, maybe more than once, at, to you know, to your ultimate sadness. <laughs> um, his family is known to me. Uh, they were jumped up merchant family in Pikebridge. They got uh, what do you say, notions? Heirs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they tried to pull off a coup in Pikebridge. Um, it is pronounced coup. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's right. Well, I'm close. I'm All right. You just hear <laughs> click, click, and it's like, everything's okay in the uh-huh. alley. Oh my god. I can't I mean, read, so I don't no. know. No. No. Oh, no. Uh, so the coup failed. Um, the Lord Protector of Pike Bridge executed almost the entire family. Uh, but I'm trying to be cool about it, but that's mm-hmm. new info. Um, you guys, I mean, when you think back on it, like you remember hearing something this effect because it was you know it was kind of news in the Ivory Yes, yeah. I think uh, we were um, drinking at the time. Well, probably. that many dead people. <laughs> yeah, we're no good. Yeah. Um, so Andrek Hargrave was like the youngest son. He survived because he was apprenticed to a powerful wizard. That's bad news. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this Andrek is a uh, a wizard himself, then perhaps. He certainly has arcane training. So yes. do I. Yes, yeah. uh, but um, she's not just a coin purse. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Mostly, be clear. Yeah. no. Mostly a coin purse. Yeah, powers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you know, his family—they were traders. They—they they weren't brewers. So yeah, but there is an alchemical component to mad to mystic training. What what is he planning here? I say. Uh, Mr. Blaine, I'm going to take you into a confidence here, All briefly. Right. <laughs> we we have been sent to find out. Are, are you are familiar with the Ivory Ports? Well, I'm from there. So yeah, I- indeed, as yeah. am I. Uh, are you familiar with the Fire Verm? Uh, the oh. the famous. Yes, indeed. Now, I've never had the pleasure, but. Uh, 
Well, I mean, uh, so you have perhaps heard that in Scurvy Town, this fine beverage yes. will be served for a copper apiece. Yes, which I find very difficult to believe. Well, it's not possible. Yeah. We should tell you, just so that there are no secrets between us, um, that we represent the Brewers Guild. And I can tell you for certain that there is none of it, not a drop of it, on this novel island. Well, you know, the scum in Scurvy Town, they won't know the difference, will they? Well, it's entirely possible, but we're, we really are talking about IP infringement here at the end of the day. Mm. Also, that sounded really mean. <laughs> yeah. Now, here's... Not IPA infringement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Totally, that's a totally different type of infringement. <laughs> we'll cover that later. Um, uh, we need to find this uh, young man uh, here on this island. I mean, our understanding is that he endeavored to create, uh, he endeavored to manufacture some fluid, um, and there's every chance that he manufactured a kind of toxic elixir. The, mm -hmm. the vessel that contained it was destroyed. Uh, we need to find him purely as a matter of civic safety. Um, we need to make absolutely certain that this liquor he has produced uh, doesn't get out during this festival. I understand. Yeah, indeed. So and like I look up a little tiny now, I'm like, where is he? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then I spit a coin at you. Yeah, it's well put. <laughs> it's well put. Brioche has put it quite well. Yeah. Um, you know, he he came to the cafe a couple of times, but <clears throat> when he tried to interact with, uh, you know, the usual lot here, the rebels, the revolutionaries, uh, he just seemed a little bit crazy, you know? And mm. so he hasn't been back. Um, I did see him one day heading towards Blood Salt, which I thought was strange. Because uh, usually... Well, it wouldn't be the right... Yeah, no. Humans don't go to blood salt, so... That's yeah. the last time I saw No, I'm... I'm, Mr. Blaine, I'm picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> David Blaine doesn't put anything down. <laughs> no, no. It floats! It floats. Yeah. <laughs> I say, well, I thank you for your time, uh, Mr. Blaine. We may be back... Uh, to interrogate you in our customarily polite fashion. So uh, polite. Further. <laughs> uh, at a later time. Mm -hmm. uh, Can I thank get you. a bag of beans before I leave? Uh, sure. Okay, I'm gonna buy a bag of beans and coffee. Just beans. have it with you? Yeah. Well, <laughs> no. yeah. You need, you, I'm you just need, eating like just, popcorn. You need more? Yeah. No, 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 it has to be like a feed bag situation where it's yes. just like on your mouth. Yeah. So anytime you can just like turn it up. Yeah. I'm just like, and get a mouthful. That's you know, I appreciate good food. Yeah, but you're a foodie. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, as we've heard, I say, I say, I, I walk back out the front and I say, Eli. Yes. So, if I ask you to take us into Blood Salt, uh huh, would you like that? I would take you to the edge of Blood Salt. I say, does it seem likely that the scion of a fine house? in the ivory ports uh -huh. would be spending a lot of time in blood salt. Does uh, that seem no. like a thing that happens? No. I mean, there would have to be a good reason for that, right? Or a bad reason. Dun dun dun! <laughs> <laughs> I say that and I also say the dun dun dun. dun, dun. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm just like... Take us there. Yeah, I, I, I come walking out of the alleyway. I forgot him like, back there. Like, <laughs> literally, two axes over my back, just like proud of myself that you know, like you just I, killed. I someone. guarded that alleyway. <laughs> no, no, he kept yeah, there's away. nothing back there. No, no, but he killed like five. He's people. like there's dead people. There's dead people. Anybody back there. who left out <laughs> the back just yeah, got they're killed. All dead. They're, they're all dead. They're just dead. Hey. I'm good at what I do. <laughs> and they're just like slick. Yeah. Just you just gore. see blood just dripping down the alley. Like, Viscera. No okay. one's in the, all the alleyway. Yeah, not anymore. Not all right. Anymore. Well, not anymore. Nope. I say, well, listen, Grim, we should leave right away. Let's Probably leave. a good idea. I'm right like away. I'm scampering like. Yeah. <laughs> I, say, <laughs> I, I, say, I say, all right, Eli, we won't ask you to go. We won't ask you to go in there. 
but we do have to go. Yep. <laughs> how bad? How bad is this going to be? Like one, to, like one to ten it for me, Eli. Like, what are we talking about? Uh, have you ever heard of the Great Green Fire? Um, yeah, but I never talk about that outside of my family. <laughs> it's kind of. I say. Everybody likes their own brand. I say, well, yeah. I mean, everybody's heard about it, but obviously, go into it a little bit. Well, so not too long ago, there was a big fire that almost destroyed the city. And people say, you know, it was demons or it was wizards. Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, but basically, there was this green fire that ate away, like, a lot of stuff and poisoned a lot of land and all that. It and happens. So that's when they started to import, like, orcs and hobgoblins and goblins to, to work on the reclamation project. I'm sorry. Like, Will we encounter any hobgoblins? Because I think yes, that will be upsetting to Brioche. The hobgoblins. Right, but why? They keep order <laughs> in blood salt. Fine. That's yeah. That's great. There's are something called the Red Blade Militia. They're the ones that actually keep order over there. Because the Watch, they don't want to go in blood salt. That's what we got. We got to go ask the Red Blade Militia if they can find. I I can't read his name. Don't worry, his name is Andrew Cargrave. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> she's looking at her arm. She's like, she's I don't like, know what it says. Uh, I can't read uh, it. When did I get this tattoo? Yeah. So so so, How did so I he's, know. So he's, he's talking to us about this, like as we're like, yeah, bouncing over there. Yeah, and trepidation, you know, slowly increasing to a maximum. Yeah. But this guy you're looking for, like he wanted to brew some nasty shit. Is that about right? Yeah. The, no. You've actually you've picked up on uh, you've you're actually great. Honestly, like there might be work for you back in the <laughs> yeah in the ports. Like this, we may be you may be coming up to the big leagues, kid. Well, whatever he was doing, I'm sure no one in Blood Salt would notice because it always smells bad and is horrible over there. So. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, so we're going straight to the we're going <laughs> straight to the red salt. blade. Yeah. yeah. All right. So basically, you get to uh, the edge of blood salt, um, and uh, you note inside blood salt, you don't see anyone who's not a goblinoid of some sort. No, oh, that's good. No. That's good. <laughs> A plus. <laughs> uh, you do see some hobgoblin guards. Do you see? Do we see a, like a peculiar, like a livery of some kind? Um, yeah, they've got a badge with a red sword, and it says "Red Blade," <laughs> and the swords are red, uh -huh. and they're the red blade. Okay, that's right. Uh, I'm, I got it. Yeah, they're on the page. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Well, I'm just like padding between people, like. Is this working at all? I, I, I'm gonna let yeah. this. I'm gonna let this happen for a little while. Yeah, I'm just like, and I'm like every time I ask, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> you just, just you spit it out. Uh -huh. yeah. Coins the goblins. Uh, why don't you make a communication oh, yes. investigation? Test. Yes, I was gonna say through the uh, the okay. dialect of coins. Oh, four, eight, nine. Ten, okay. Eleven. Yep. All right, and you've got doubles here. <gasps> yeah. Uh, but it looks like you only have one stunt point, which is it, no. Uh, so would this be would this be an exploration stunt uh, or a role playing stunt? It would be role play. Mm. This uh, is pretty slick. Here, do, do you have one of these? I no. We, yeah, we here. Oh, you do. It's right <coughs> here. Dude, dude, yeah. Get your mitts on this. Okay, so okay. flip it over to exploration stunts <gasps> for one SP. You can purchase or role playing. You can purchase bone mo. Ooh. So you have the perfect remark. Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> yeah, I want the perfect remark. You tag the perfect witty remark onto the end of your action. Yeah, affecting all those who hear it that much more deeply. If you can't think of one, the rest of the, rest of the players in GM quickly brainstorm options. Oh, that's so fun. Mm -hmm. And you choose among them. Word of your wit is likely to spread for good or ill. <laughs> That's excellent. And remember, hobgoblins are your natural enemy as mm. a gnome, so <laughs> yeah. I think it's especially yeah. poignant. Yeah, it yeah. pierces them. So, so yeah, ideas? as I'm patting around uh -huh. and I'm just asking where this is, I would like to also walk up to a hobgoblin uh -huh. and um, just kind of like with my dinosaur chompy umbrella and looking at them and just be like, you have beautiful eyes. <laughs> We're not so different. <laughs> Except for like every possible uh, every way. Every thing. Every aspect. But I mean it sincerely. <laughs> Have you been at the hookah shop? I like, yes. I love, I love the hookah shop. Mm. I shop there all the time. 
For hookahs. For hookahs. As I'm like Let looking me. around like I don't know what a hookah is. I'm just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is at all. <laughs> Let me do you a favor, little gnome. Mm -hmm. This is not a great place for you. Well, but we have to find Andrew, whatever his name is. Hard Warhol, Hargrave. yeah. Andrew Hargrave? Yes. Oh, see, that's a great sign. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know where he is? Um, is he a crazy looking human yes, who has no business crazy. being here? Yes. Yeah. We're going to take him out. <laughs> we don't want you guys to deal with him anymore. Yeah. We're going to take him, take him back to, I don't know, wherever we live, which is probably sad. <laughs> so if you follow the street sort of to the edge of Blood Salt, there's a building down there. That's where he's been. <gasps> like a warehouse type situation. Yeah. All like, right, um, I, I like uh, I like pad right back to everyone. <laughs> I'm like, I found it out. I found it out. And I'm like, yay! And I just like start running down the street. Did she get the pony? I don't have a pony. Don't okay. have a pony. I, I never had you a pony. got the pony no, no, she, for no, us. I didn't have to get the pony. No, the back she, door. What? Yeah. There's not, no, I, I took care of the back door. I didn't say also, anything about Also, I'm, I'm just really proud about how this, this cultural connection that I had. With. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you so, bridged so, a divide. I did. So I did. we need to entertain very briefly the idea that uh, Andrew Hargrave is not here, and this is, in fact, very dangerous. <laughs> the I'm already gone. Gal so, she's gallivanting so, through the gone. fucking streets. <laughs> I thought I did a good. We're all just, like, standing there, and she's just... Pattering yeah. away, like you know, I assume that like road. a gnome running is about equal to the rest of us walking. So yeah. I think slowly, we can catch yeah, up. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're fine. We're actually running this. We're actually going yeah. the same exact speed. Yeah. Okay. No, it's like when Snoopy runs, right? <laughs> it's like the feet are just going the same yeah, place. Yeah, no, it's totally it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And and I'm just like, and I'm like, this is why, and I'm like pointing <laughs> at it. All right, so you head off that way. Um, boy, you get a lot of stairs in Blood Salt. Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of head turning, and um, like you know you hear the occasional growl. And, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I deliver Is the it? I deliver the occasional tasteful wink. <laughs> uh, but eventually, you find um, this large, essentially warehouse-ish building, um, <clears throat> and um, there is one door that we can see on, the, can on see? this side. I'm not getting the back door this time. No, let him go in the front door because he has the most axes. It's yeah, it's true. No, he's got two more than everyone else, yeah. I think. Let me let me first jump off of his shoulders because I don't walk upstairs, so I've been uh, I've been letting him uh, carry me up. So I would, I would like to yeah. get off first. Well, well the thing is I have two, you know, the um, Grimdahl is bald except for two um, ponytails that come off the sides of his head, right. almost like horns. They act oh. as great handles. Like, 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 like yeah. Pippi Longstock. Yeah, pretty much. Right? But like the dwarven version <laughs> the of Pippi dwarven, Longstock. Yes, exactly. So, so, so you're like you're like someone who has like lived on the International Space Station for a year. Like just like there's just not a lot of muscle mass. Yeah. <laughs> I can't exert very much at all. It's a lot of noodle type activity. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of coffee, so my gnome's going real fast. <laughs> my muscles have all atrophied. <laughs> I don't. I don't deign to use them. Veal. Mm. Ugh, ugh. Mm. Right. All right. So <laughs> no coin. No, exactly. No, no coin. Just vomit. Here, here. So I am definitely. So feel free to go in the front. I'm going to try to find a rear entrance to this place. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, so what you you find is essentially like a well, like a trade entrance with bigger like double doors. Oh, there um, we go. That you might roll barrels out of. Or there we go. There we go. I, I, well, barrels of fire verm. Dun, Perhaps. Dun, dun. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to figure out how I can get in that side while the rest of y'all... <laughs> I, mean, I mean, what? I, I, have, I, I have a scenario. Oh, okay. I'm saying the rest of y'all go in this way. I will, you know... In, sail it from the rear? Investigate uh, this other opportunity. Okay. Mostly because I want to see how the rest of the skill checks work. Mm. And I am a novice thievery -er. Oh. Mm -hmm. So can I can I utilize these skills to sort of yeah. gain access? Uh, reminding myself what theory does. Indeed. Oh, you can roll lock. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, so yes. So those doors are locked. You can make a dexterity lock picking check, and if you fail, you can reroll. Oh, this is marvelous. <coughs> this is marvelous news. Your filthy. Uh, the front door <laughs> is that locked. was for. Eli. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's he's for middle Eli. class now. Yeah. Eli goes over here. He's doing really well. Yeah, he's he's doing really well. He almost has as much as me. Like, he's trending locally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, here. So I'm going to toss these in here. Ooh. <clears throat> Four, one, three. So do I add up all the numbers? You add up all those numbers, and then you add your dexterity to that. 
I do. So that is seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Here, so I can beg you to re-roll. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. I'm a novice thief. Yeah. <coughs> hey, oh, there you that's, go. Oh, this is much that's better. Much. So that is eight, ten, sixteen. <coughs> All right. Yes, you easily. Have a little trouble at first, but you're like, oh, I've got yeah, it's this. Like, oh, it's these blood salt locks. It's the old They're number corroded. seven. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a lot of corrosion from the salt air. <laughs> um, so you're able to open that. Uh, exactly, while but, I'm, but I'm biding my time. Yeah. Okay. I'm waiting for them to make an entrance, <clears throat> and then I'll try to sneak in. So around the front, that door is locked. It's completely locked. Mm-hmm. So you can uh, try can to I, pick can it, I, you can try, try to force it. Sm- try to smash this in with an axe a yeah. little bit? Uh, that, that works yeah, for you me. You could make a strength might check. Ooh, um, I don't know if you have might, but... Uh, um, I no, bet, but no, you I do don't, have three but strength. I've got three strength that yeah, I can add it. to that. Um, <clears throat> come on, okay, that's gonna be... Yowza. 6, 11, 15 strength. Yeah, no problem. Poof! Seven. Behold, my <coughs> lady Belladonna wishes to speak with you. Uh-oh. No, no, but you have to make like a trumpet sound with your mouth, like. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Level up sound. Belladonna. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Please do some persuasion. Uh, do, yeah. So we break open the doors. Do we? Do I? Yeah. Is there actually anybody in here that I'm screaming to, or uh, is it just a hollowed? Who echo are we met with? Yeah. So we have to. We're ending at four, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. <laughs> um, so you search the place. Uh, there's no one living there. You find uh, mm-hmm. about a half dozen bodies. Um, that so am are... I giving like a grand speech to, to a, a bunch, bunch of, of dead bodies? bodies? <laughs> Please do. Yeah. I want to hear this. <laughs> Dear sirs, we have come I'm a dead to body. free you. Come along with us. I know that there is some trepidation, but please just join us. Get up off the ground. I'm like poking one with a stick, like my fellow men and women, please. I think they're all drunk. Yeah, yeah exactly. I think they're all dead. But that makes sense. In a very smooth way, I hear the shouts. I make my way into uh, the door that I have uh, lock picked. Yep. Uh, and I am, you know, while this distraction is occurring, I am examining my surroundings, mm-hmm. looking for evidence of the brewing equipment, bags of spent bags of grain, mm-hmm. fakwas, fakwas, as many as the heart could find. Right. Yeah. So you do find equipment there. Um, there's a bunch of kettles that are all um, like scorched and uh-huh. ruined. Um, God damn. It. You you note that there's no. Like barrels there. No, no, there's no brew. They've been rolled out um, to Scurvy Town. But there also is an office oh. uh, with like a desk and, uh, oh. and like a safe in it. A safe, you say? Oh, mm-hmm. uh, hey, just saying. I mean, you know right. what to do. No, no, exactly. I know what to do. But I'm also. But if this person is as nuts as they say, mm-hmm. it's entirely possible he's trapped in his own safe. Well, well, listen. That's that's <laughs> no, 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 no. That would be David. That would be David Blaine, and yeah. you would invite people. Yeah, yeah. to unlock the safe. Are there the a bunch of, like twisted like wine glasses around here? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or Dick Cheney's man-sized safe. Yeah, yeah, this is a real thing, yeah. and so we have one too, actually. So, um, so here's the snare, right? Um, I want to make sure in terms of door. Desk. I mean, I, 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 I want to. The chat says Holly's butt is in my chair. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want to make sure that I want to make sure that nobody's going to get poked by some kind of a poison needle. Yeah. Uh, right. Make a perception seeing test. Seeing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you boil it way down, huh? Yep. All right. So my perception is three, but I have no seeing. So here we go. Yeah. Uh, hey. We are talking about a scenario, a fifteen scenario. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you don't see any. Difficulties. Okay, marvelous, marvelous. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get nuts on this safe. Now, actually, so but you are a rogue also, right? That is true. Well, here. So do you want to do you want rogue it up? Rogue it to the next level. All right, all right. I will. Let's let's do this. I'm going to uh, put down the dead body that I was trying to drag <laughs> yeah. out the door. Helpfully. Uh huh. You know, I was just doing what I what I could. So hey, there we go. Six, hey. seven, eight, nine, yeah. ten, Add your eleven. Dexterity. 12, 13, 14. Okay. Uh, you are able to get this safe open. Um, so Obviously. So you rifle through what's there. <clears throat> um, 
And you do find a recipe. Um, and looking over it, you do not see the Thakwa smoked barley as part of it. But as you're looking it. at it, yeah. like, it's weird, you know? Mm. Um, oh, this is not, it's not beer at all, is it? Um, you can see it a little bit. And it it looks more like a spell oh. than a recipe. Oh, I just like I'm like <laughs> I just like go look at it and I'm like magic. Uh, so make <laughs> an intelligence arcane lore mm. test, dude. This is the most arcane fucking lore, Holly. This lore is <laughs> fucking crazy. Oh, Ooh. oh, Holly. Mm. oh, Holly. nine. nine. <laughs> oh, precious Holly. Twelve. 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 Okay. Do you have arcane lore? I do. I do. Okay, so you get to add two. Oh, so, hey, well, so 14. All right, that's good. All right, so you were looking at this, you know, it's got um, basically a lot of ritual components to it. Um, and a lot of it is gobbledygook, but there's a phrase, you know, that sort of gives you a bit of a chill um, and says, all shall receive the blessing of the fetid prince. Oh. Um, okay. So All right. anyone can make a intelligence religious lore test. Ooh, I'll yeah. do that. Right. So this motherfucker is brewing potions by the barrel. Yeah. <clears throat> Some kind of weird ass. Oh, he, he's it's a, using 14? my dwarven he, heritage against intelligence. I didn't roll on the thing. Oh yeah, oh, dude. Yeah. Yo. So EJB murdered this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's just say. Let's just uh, say I don't have any intelligence, but I have historical lore. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, so plus two on this. So yeah, we're we're sitting pretty with what are we at? Uh, that's 12, 17. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, so you and uh, Brioche over there. <laughs> uh, you both reckon, flaky Brioche. Yeah. You recognize the title of the fetid prince. Um, it is a powerful devil lord uh. named Nurgal, who is uh, also known as the Lord of Pestilence. All right, we we, we, the, we were, this is beyond our pay grade. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, this is actually a very important question. Yeah. Did they spell it fetid like F E T E D? Or like feta? No, no, no. Or like <laughs> F the cheese lord? Or like F O E T I D? Because that. To me, like that shows you like how hardcore this motherfucker mm. is. Uh-huh. Uh, it's F E. Okay, yeah, all right, okay. all right. So, so he's we got weird. A all right, all right. He's definitely yeah. weird. Okay, yeah. so so they have rolled this stuff out. This is so they have cracked this potion. So we've already technically speaking, we have already the job is not to stop them from serving it, I don't think. No. Mm. I think the job is actually to make sure they're not technically serving it at all. Nobody out there is gonna be surprised. <laughs> Nobody out there is going to be like, oh yeah, this must be that great shit everybody's drinking. Wow, this devil juice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, think that's a problem. It seems to be that they're summoning uh, devils versus just ex brewing Exactly. And so, and, and so they're wrecking, they are wrecking kettles with this thing. Mm -hmm. So obviously that's an aesthetic concern. Hey, uh, you know, but, <laughs> but, 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 by the same token. It hurts a little. Yeah, exactly. But by the same token, now we have a moral quandary. We really have done our job. We can go home now, I think, if we want to. Right? But do we, tell the do we want lots of people to drink devil juice? No! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are we getting paid? But this is the worst part. Yeah, no, no, not really. Not but really. I'm saying this that's is the worst question. part is that he's charging them a copper. I mean, obviously that's low, but he's still charging I mean, them no, to it, drink no, it's low. devil juice. Like it's Curse low. Them. Like yeah. morally it's low. Yeah. So I feel like we could... Wait. This is the recipe. We just destroy it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I have flame blast. I can just set it on fire. Annihilate this. Yeah. And all the rest of his documents while yeah. you're at it. Let's just. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can. That's what I'm gonna do. Get you can, rid of uh, it. Cast a spell, and you I'm can gonna flame flame blast. Light all that shit on fire. And light it on fire. I'm like, can we walk <laughs> out of here and just fire. light the whole warehouse on yeah, fire? Yeah, just uh, reservoir dogs it out of the front. Yeah. yeah. We'll right? just like slow walk. Do, She'll do, be do, fast do, walking, down. running because. Yeah. Keeping up the face, but yeah. I have tiny legs. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. How uh, do I spell? Uh, so when you're casting a spell, you roll three d6. Okay. And you add your intelligence, and then if you have the appropriate arcana focus, mm -hmm. so let's say like fire arcana. Yes. Uh, then you get to add plus Ooh. two. Okay, so I got fourteen. Okay, and there's a casting number. 
for flame blast as yeah. I hold this. A casting track. number. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what is what, what does that mean in your system? It t the um, blast. So is... to actually cast the spell, you have to meet or beat a target number. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the target yeah. number is twelve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you cast it, and then you spend magic points um, to cast a spell. So. Rad. Uh, so there's no like spell memorization or whatever. You have access to all your spells. You're just it's a magic just, person. Yeah. How you want to use the magic points that you have. So. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna light this. So you heat it up. Fire. Yeah, yeah. So and no it, problem. You can. And I'd like to tell everyone to just like mix some kindling and like old like barrels. I, I take and the stuff liquor board out. The, yeah, and yeah. The liquor board's the gonna liquor go right. Is gonna, <laughs> <laughs> the liquor board is gonna go <laughs> up. The liquor board and, and the coffee board are yeah. both gonna go in the middle. Which yeah. For some reason, I was wearing on my back. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then I'll light I'll light that up and the contract. Okay. So you burn all that stuff down. Uh, at this point, it is about like 3.30 in the afternoon, and the swag fest is supposed to start about sundown. So um, if you want to go to Scurvy Town, you need to go now. If yeah, you yeah. don't want to go to Scurvy Town, you no, could just say, fuck this place. We definitely <laughs> should, because my, my suspicion is that, so we've heard about this fetid mm -hmm, prince. Mm -hmm. We sort of know what the deal is. Um, I mean, it's good. Eventually, it's just a matter of time, right? Mm. Until this thing, until these fetid prints yeah. imbibers. So we're, we're talking about a, a crazy pants sort of like fraternity. This is like some kind of like grog. They would make it a frat house, presumably. Yeah, <laughs> it's like jungle juice. Yeah, we're having this yeah. conversation while ash and fire. Oh yeah, us. absolutely. Yeah. We're yeah, walking up, but yeah, I'm very calm. Yeah. Really mm -hmm. so very like calm. Like time. Eli, get in a van. We gotta mm. go. Yeah, exactly. So we we need to go back and check on Eli yeah. too. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so yeah, we should get out of here, Okay, is my guess. All right, so you can get out of Blood Salt. Um, Eli is waiting for you at the border. All right. And oh, you're alive. Yeah. <laughs> Eli, we've never yeah. been more happy yeah. to see this someone time. who's lower middle class. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Eli, I, I say, I say, uh, pal, listen, scurvy town. Yeah. We got to get there. Yeah. Okay. Right away. Where do you need to go? Uh, we need to go to where. Uh, Shit, we burnt the instructions. Well, no, it's fine. <laughs> we, I, 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 say, I say, Eli, listen, this is very mm. important. We need to get to uh, where the fireworm is being served oh. at the swag fest yeah. that is occurring in that region. Yeah, they actually like took a like a block of Scurvy Town and just knocked it all down. Oh, make, Scurvy Town block party. Yeah, yeah to make a I mean, plaza where this can happen. Okay, yeah, let's, let's go I mean, and... Nobody let, cares about a couple houses, right? No, well, let's, go and so, yeah, <laughs> let's go and solve this. House <laughs> is yeah. ennobling. Yeah, sure. Um, sure. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's, flip the, let's, let's, uh, let's flip the switch on these guys. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you guys to start heading over to Scurvy Town. Um, you the uh, unfortunately, you know, there's crowds in the street now. Um, you know, a lot of people knocked off work early because it's swag. Brioche. Fish. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, rock blast <laughs> <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> your your plan is just to start murdering people. Well, no, no, no. but 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 listen, a <laughs> no, little distraction, won't. little diversion. All right, in the guys, right way, because you guys are gonna go try and. Uh, Obtain that Just beverage. That, yeah. that dark juice. Great. So I will oh, yeah, stand in the middle of the that. square and David Blaine this <laughs> and say, Who wants to be healed? <laughs> yeah. Through the power Just build of rocks. it in. Just yeah. Build it into. Yeah, I will find like the sickest remember, person. This is a party, this uh -huh. is a party yeah. environment, right? Yeah, I will. I'll find like the sickest person in this square. Yeah. And I will cast Healing Touch. Tony Hawk, probably. Uh huh. Yeah. You're just like straight up starting like a cult right now. Yeah. Just yeah, I'll like put on forming a, weird a miracle. Hat. Uh -huh. a gnome and I'm just cult. gonna I'm gonna heal them and be like, who wants to be healed after that? <laughs> but I only have one of those, so I'm just gonna <laughs> yeah. fake all the rest of them. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Alright, so it, it takes you guys a while to work your way through the crowd to, to get to this plaza. Um, and so you start your distraction. Yeah. It's pretty easy to find some people who have never had health care here in cool. Scooby Town. So um so you uh, pick a sickly looking person and you... Um, Heal the a, fuck out of them. Yeah, that's can, what I'm gonna do. Uh, make a roll for your spell. Okay. See, see if it comes off. Healing, yeah. healing touch. Yeah. Oh, that's not to a five. No, that's six, good. Seven, eight, that's 12 yeah. plus, I think, my two for Arcana. Yeah. Right? So 12 for 14. Um, and you've got a 
stunt with three stunt points. Yeah, there nice. are spell <laughs> stunts. Yeah. Um, Seven oh, with the, yes. stunt, with the stunt dice three here. So what's going on with these spell stunts? Um, oh, 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 yeah. So oh. basically, let you do different things um, with the spell. Oh, oh, oh I know exactly casting. what I want. Very cool. Yeah. I want imposing spell. So I want the the effect of the spell is much more dramatic. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Perfect. So I just want to be like, I am summoning the like I don't not very religious mm. gnome. So I'm just like. I just like mumble the name of God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I just like summon their power and heal someone. And I'm just like, and if you all pray, you will be healed as well. <laughs> a single tear falls down from my eye. And I so beautiful. Yeah. But like, but completely placid, right? And I say, I knew she had a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you dramatically heal somebody yeah. of whatever yeah. <laughs> disease. I don't even know. Like it's probably just alcoholism. Um, I'm just doing yeah. that. And they're they you know they do the whole um, you know like ah oh, yeah I'm healed. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I want. And this draw, like, yes! <laughs> draws in attention from surrounding yeah. people, and you know some hands shoot up like heal me. Yeah, yeah, that's heal exactly me. what I want. While well, these I guys see. are ob- yeah, ob- yeah. Ob- ob- obtaining exactly. what they need. All right, so what are you guys trying to do? Well, we're, 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 we're so, so, find those so, bats, yeah, right? The, the, the fantasy scenario here uh-huh. is that this is sort of taking some of the pressure off of this yeah. this flow of, mm-hmm. of the crowd. Yeah. And we are basically just going to go right around the edge that she is creating there. Yeah. And trying to get into this square, and we want to find these uh, these devil juice jugs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So basically, um, uh, thanks to that distraction, you are able to sort of slip into the plaza area. Mm-hmm. And what you see is, you know, mostly surround this plaza are typical, you know, uh, rundown like shanty town type housing. Yeah. But on one side of the plaza, there is a big what looks like a barn mm-hmm. um, with like a big double doors there, and then there is sort of a, a line um, of rope that has been laid out, you know, marking out an area, and then guarding that area are guys and ladies from the Freeport Watch. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, because, make, because they know that it's basically like uh, they're there to control the line. Yeah. Uh, so make a perception uh, seeing tests for me. Perception? Yeah. Perception? I call it perceptiones. Oh, well, now look at this. As you wish. So this is Whoa. 14 yep. plus 3 yeah, 7, you're, you're yep. but I have two sixes. Uh, Yes, yeah, so you oh, got doubles, rad. and then your stunt die is a six. So I know. So this, this is kick ass. Yeah. So right. So this is role playing points. stunts. Yep. Right. I did real bad. I only got eight. Delivering. Okay. Well, you're busy. People I'm busy. Like, yeah. Me. I'm busy. I'm very busy. You're literally bringing people back from the brink of death. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. one person, and then the rest are faking it. Yeah. They'll find out later. They'll find out later. Yeah. Oh man, this is bonkersville. Okay, I, I've got so much cool shit right. <laughs> I can pull out here. So I'm gonna throw in the bone mo. Uh huh. Right. So this is the thing. It's like, oh, you're spending them in, well, I have in multiples. Six points, yeah, you don't right? have to go for the top one. Like. No, 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 no. So I'm gonna throw because a lot of these are sort of mm-hmm. gonna be combat oh, right? Okay. So I'm gonna kick out the bone mo. Yep. So I'm gonna get bonus effects. Um, I'm gonna throw in the sway the crowd. Oh, yep. Uh, well, actually, this is all in perception, right? Yes. So I, I need to figure out. The right way uh, to execute this uh, in such a way that it actually makes sense for perception, right? Yeah, you might actually want to use exploration stunts. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think I think yeah. I think I think that's actually superior, right? Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, the upper hand. If your discoveries lead to combat within a moment or two, you receive a plus three. Mm-hmm. On your initiative that's, roll, that's a good one. That could happen very quickly, yeah. so let's mm-hmm. do that. Um, also, I'm gonna do uh, the speedy search. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's in an instant. I assess what is important about this, mm-hmm. um, and then we're ready to roll in a combat way if things go south fast. All right. So uh, yeah, so you sort of assess this situation, and you very quickly realize something that you find uh, troublesome, which is that the guards are fucking drunk. So, oh man, yeah, they drunk. Do we? Do I think that they are drunk on? You don't on know. the worm, but you can are they see on that worm? <laughs> You can see that you know there's people in the crowd sort of trying to press in on that rope line, and the guards are like getting more belligerent. Um, and at, at this point, you hear like a, like a trumpet sound, 
Um, and the doors of that barn like fly open. Fuck. And they're like a huge, like Budweiser style carriage with giant horses like rides into the plaza. <clears throat> and on the back of it is just like barrels and barrels of beer. Um, and the whole thing is followed by a bunch of urchins who have like tin cups like festooning them, you know, like ready to give for the crowd. And on top of the whole thing is, is like a wild haired guy with a staff and on the top of his staff is like an emblem with three circles that link together. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and he is like, moves the carriage forward, you know, st stops it, because there doesn't have all that much room to move, but it's right. impressive anyway. Um, and then he stands up and like thumps his staff. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, right? So he says, Fire Verum Brew is here. You've all heard of it, but you've never had it. For too long, the lords and the ladies, the fat merchants and the courtesans have had it, but you have not. They want to keep all the pleasure for themselves, just like always. Yeah, people are talking about. Well, that ends today, brothers and sisters. That ends today. Today, you will all be equal. Drink the brew, brothers and sisters. Drink. I hate this. I hate everything about this. I was just going to say, I mean, this is obviously hurtful rhetoric. It's terrible. One, I haven't had something that everyone else has had. And two, you're trying to give it to everyone and democratize this? No. No. We have to shut this down. There's a lot of reasons why it's a problem. And whichever one is most important to you, let's, let's focus yeah. on that and let's just maintain. Let's think about how this affects me and mm -hmm. destroy this. That so sounds like I'm an gonna, upper class attitude. I'm going to rock blast this carriage. Oh, okay. And I'm going to make a spike come out of the ground and knock it over. Okay. But I ho I ho and hopefully pierce some of these yes, barrels, that's right? that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so, so, so now we need initiative, yes, I guess, right? So how does that work in this shit? Uh, so you roll 3d6, you add your dexterity. And you add plus three. Damn. Because of my awesome. Uh, you add plus three. Oh, just me? Oh, yeah. mm. oh. Because I'm pretty sure that my my gnome is going to do this, and then she's going to go transform into another character for another game that I have to go to <laughs> <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> oh, you're gonna, you're gonna yeah, bounce, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I have to go very quickly. <laughs> yes, but I'm gonna do this first and <gasps> knock this over. Yeah. All right. What'd you get? I murdered this. Okay, so I have. Uh, fourteen. So, so is uh, is it is a dexterity check? Yeah. Okay. So I have fourteen plus two for dexterity. So so a sixteen. Yep. And then I have plus three again. Yep. Damn. Uh, for the uh, the stunt. Okay. So we're looking at nineteen. All right. Very and, good. And so can you crit? Like, uh, can you get stunt? Not uh, stunt on initiative. value on initiative. Okay. No. Mm. Uh, what'd you get? I got 13. 13. Not anywhere is even close to that damage. Yeah, yeah. Got 14. Thanks. I got 11 because I'm so humiliated right now that everyone else has <laughs> just something insist. that I have. <laughs> I can't. Well, they might get it, right? Even that. I can't, I can't. It, it might as well be the truth. You can't even. Cannot even. Stop. Uh, all right, so um, Holly, you can cast your spell, and we'll uh, that'll be a surprise round, and then we'll. Yay! Okay, so my target number is twelve, and it's one d six plus willpower. Oh, that's oh you got to do the casting roll first. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Three d six plus three intelligence. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Ooh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you actually stunted with six stunt points because you got double twos. <gasps> Yay! Damn. Nice. So I get to do <coughs> spell, oh, spell, spell stunts. Oh, spell stunts. Oh, blow this shit up. Oh, dude, yeah, dude. Pop this thing. There's so <coughs> many great stunts here. Okay. As you are casting. Um, okay, I'm going to do uh, Mighty Spell. If the spell does damage, one target of the spell of your choice takes an extra d6 damage. So I'm going to damage that cart. But but listen, you can spend up to six points. Oh. Mm -hmm. So that's just two of yeah. your six points. Yeah. Oh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, I'm going to do Mighty Spell and a Lethal Spell. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, it spells it in one target of the spell takes an extra 2d6 damage. 
Oh, there you all, go. All targets. Okay. Oh, no, that's fun. Good God. And that's that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Uh, roll your damage. All right. So two d six. So four, five, six, seven. So eight, and then another one d six. Up. Oh, that's a one. So eight. So nine extra nine. damage. Delicious. Okay. And I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna crawl under the table and vanish. And vanish because I have to go to my other game. Oh. <laughs> so you do Where's your other life? game? Hmm? Where's your other? Just game? right here. Oh. <laughs> my other computer over there. Oh, all right. <laughs> transporting into another. I'm transporting realm. into another realm, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I have to go. All right. Well, so your, um, you know, you stretch out your tiny hand and yes. uh, and you know, rocks fly out of it and slam into the side of this carriage, and you punch a bunch of holes um, into the barrels. Nice. Um, and so this, uh, this brew just starts, you know, spurting out, you know, and, and what color going is it? on. To, um, it is um, kind of amber, but also has a little bit of like a greenish tint to I it. I think um. they are going to kill us. <laughs> yeah. um, as I do that, I pass out. Okay. <laughs> and I have to go to my other stream. Now. <laughs> so so Brioche! No! Yeah. I'm, I'm just like carrying her little body. <laughs> I'm, just like, I'm dead. Oh god, I'm trapped. Well, thank you for playing. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, take off your no. belt. I had so much fun. I'm Brioche, sorry. No! I would, I would, I know. I would, but I. You I, died! I, I, and we, we're, I'm just the rest like, of I'm this so is dramatized. Just for brioche. It's all for Brioche. I'm going to take all my money back. <laughs> this, is, this is all so done for Brioche. Paying, paying, paying Brioche in my mouth. Just put it all in your crop. Yeah, please kill everyone, and I will be. Eaten. I, will, I will be dead. We'll, we'll take it from here. To live long and prosper. Suddenly, I have a lot more sun so on me like than I used to. Yeah, and you don't yeah. like it. So you're not. So she's not alone. No, but you're also driven into a rage. I'm like so, you've never. You have never yeah. felt its rays. I am so angry. So I'm angry. even more angry than when I lost a little bit of money. <laughs> We are going to avenge Brioche. Brioche. Okay. Oh, I'm pissed. Um, so, so that happens. The, you know, the crowd had surged forward um, and started sort of wrestling with the guards. Trying <laughs> to get this and magic you, beer. And you notice that the guards at a certain point just start like hitting people in a way you wouldn't really expect. Um, and, uh, and then like several of them start Twitching and racking, and it, their skin starts sort of peeling off of them. I didn't brew it. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> and they kind of transform into really like demonic looking. Would you entities. would you describe them as fetid? I would. Yeah. <laughs> I would describe them that I'm way. I'm just saying. There we go. Uh, to me. So, Frist, you are at the top of the order. I'm ready. So there are basically several like plague demons, um, and then there's Andric, and then there's a giant crowd of people who are alternately excited and now afraid. I got the demons. Do you want to get Andric? So, so there's a period of time where it's like this crowd is pushing, yeah, yeah, and then these guys are going, wow, 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 and then there's a bunch of shit, and they look gross, <laughs> yeah. Then there's other thing, yeah, and then and we're just like, no, we're, we're just shoulder to shoulder, like, so, and it's just sort of like, I'm like, I'm like, well, what do you, you, you want? What, you, what do you like? <laughs> do you want Andrew? Do you want, I want Andrew? Who, 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 what, what do you think? I mean, like, I mean I'm, I'm, I'm fine with Andrew. Up here, or, you know, there. But I mean, if you want to go up there, I can take the lower. Yeah. yeah I mean, or you know, we can switch it. Okay. And I can take the top or the bottom. No, I. I mean, I'll, whatever one you want. I'll go up. <laughs> And I'll go down. I'll Meanwhile, I, I, yeah. Yeah. I, I pull my bow and I just I I uh, aim at the nearest thing that is moving because I usually never have to do this, and I shoot. You mean actually fight? Deeply inconvenienced. <laughs> yeah. It's horrible. Horrible. Brioche is over here. I guess uh-huh. I have to get physical. I don't even have any calluses on my hands. This hurts a lot. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, it's just, you pull back the. It's like, yeah, it's like, I haven't done this. In- <laughs> uh, do you want to cede your turn to her, or do you guys want to? Do yeah, I, I, this is too funny. This is too good. All we right, have to do this. And By then, all then I'll means. Jump in. All right. So you are uh, going to make a, a test. Oh, damn. God. 12, 13, 14. But it's stun points. But two sixes. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's nice. That's the number so of the beast. So if you yeah. on your sheet, six, six, two. under your bow, so the, the blue. attack roll is plus five. So plus five to that. Yeah, and then your this is your damn. 18, 18, 17, 18, 19. So you super hit 
Um, and you have six stunt points. I'm not rich for no reason, you guys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's rich not just rich in them points. It's not just the, an accident of fate. The combat stunts. It's about know. talent. No, Lethal I'm, blow is a good one. It adds two d6 to your damage. I am good at killing people. You can afford that. So do I pick the stunt? Yeah, so oh, you, and yeah. you can oh, yeah. pick several. That's Basically cool. you have six points to work with. Well, so you can grab the lethal blow, because mm-hmm. you can buy the biggest one up there, right? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, uh, absolutely. <coughs> oh look at this, look at this! So lethal blow is for five points, but you actually roll the six for stunts. Yep. So not only can you do that, you can do lethal blow and you're using a bow. Mm-hmm. So you can also ins- you can also use the extra point just to instantly reload. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yep. Oh, that's kick ass. Let's go Legolas on this shit. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. So Just get sick with it. you're gonna roll three d six plus three for your damage. That is a six over here. Jesus. Someone count. Six, right. six, six or two count? again. Two One. six. Stop it. All right. I am so good at this. Stop it. It's rude. <laughs> I'm like, at a certain point, uh, it's rude. I know. I'm. I'm so we're modest. still like back here, like up, down, up, to, and like arrows oh, are just going yeah, over exactly. our fucking head. Because they're just like, discussing. <laughs> All right, and you were shooting one of the plague demons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so yeah, you guys are both chattering, and she just smoothly pulls an arrow out and plants one into the oh, chest of this yeah. demon that staggers back a bit but does not fall. Sometimes you have to get your hands dirty. <laughs> yeah, it's rare. That's our so boss. What do you want to do, dude? Yeah. Um, I'm. J- I I just see these arrows go flying, and I'm just like, for brioche, and yeah, I run exactly. up. <laughs> I run up the barrel <laughs> and just try to strike at Anvric <clears throat> for that flaky little possible. roll. For that flaky uh, little roll. You are not gonna be able to get to him okay. in one round. I will you run can... up half the barrel and I'll yeah. try and shoot him oh, with yes. my pistol. Well, that you can do. <laughs> yes. uh, so how do I how do I do? Um, is it gonna be like a dex? Uh, uh, so, so your weapons are listed out. Oh, and just say what the attack okay. roll is. Yeah. Cool. Come on, yeah. Well, let's see. If oh wait! You, if oh, you get, I right? have to. I still have to hit. So that's a six, eight, and three. So eleven. Uh, well, I, got, I got two see. stun points. Does that help at all? On this one, on, on the uh, wizard. Uh, on my pistol. Yeah, on the wizard. Yeah. As uh, I'm like running up this thing, so I'm like barely able yeah. to shoot at him. So you got an eleven. Yeah. <laughs> that does not hit. That does not hit. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> oh, here. No. Mm-hmm. What is accuracy? Uh, so it's, it is a base stack that, that covers shooting and also like, oh, like light cool. weapons, oh, so like, like black powder and things like that. So does do he, I get, if he has black powder, mm-hmm. does that does that add on? Or, or no. is that already it's calculated? In? In. It's okay. built in. I, sorry, I had to check because it's new. Yeah. yeah. All right, mm-hmm. you did your best. Hey, I'm, I'm just like, I'm, yeah. I'm leading the charge, yeah. pistol in hand. It's very close. I mean, you know, you, yeah. you, you shoot and you know he ducks a little bit and it it's right over. You know, tears his robe a bit, but goes high. I like it. All right, so uh, do, do, do. oh, you never Mr. went, Doctor Frist. Yeah, mm-hmm. I presume. Yeah. All right, here. Yeah. So I'm ready to get wild. Um, <laughs> I, hopefully, Andrew. hopefully my yeah. dexterity is higher than his. Uh, What's your dex? Two. <laughs> yes, actually, it is. Um, Maybe. It is higher than the Plague Demons, but not as high, or oh, it's the same as Andrix. It's the same as Andrix. Yeah. So pinpoint attack, which gives me an additional d6, Yeah. I only get it if it's more. Yeah. So it's so right now, it's probably better to attack Plague Demons. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna attack the yeah. Plague Demon that uh, Belladonna shot. Yep. Um, with my powerful pinpoint attack. So throwing knives, this is my base attack, this is what I'm doing, right? Yep. Plus five. Oh, very, damn. very delicious. Nice. Oh yeah, no, it's pretty smooth. You're just like chucking the knife and yeah, looking at this. Yeah, point. yeah. <laughs> like, throwing knives are pretty <laughs> yeah. real here. Oh yeah. Hey, 11, 12, 13, nice. 18. Oh, that's damn. definitely. It. Mm. All right, and since uh, and it's a D6 damage, but there's also a plus a free D6 for my pinpoint attack. Yep. Here we are. Four points. Blech. Okay. All right. It's not as good. I'll be honest, it's not as good. Yeah. I'll say, listen, that's that's, <laughs> that's why she's the boss. Yep. It's fine. You have a lot of self awareness. That's important yeah. in a yeah. person as well. <laughs> you do, you know, you place it like right by her arrow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I was, it's I was not too inspired. Deep, so, yeah. I was inspired. Yeah. Um, all right. Cool. So you three have all gone, so Andrick is gonna go now. Okay, so now we get to see what 
Uh, yeah, brick is made what of. What bosses yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to see what the hit point system is like. <laughs> well, that'd be fun. Yeah, and uh, for him, <laughs> us. I need to get to the magic. I could jack. use some of that fire juice. So it has magic checks, which is good for us. <laughs> very good for us. That's very good. <laughs> Is there any realm of possibility that the pony has like wandered in and like, <laughs> like rest hey guys, on right? the pony? It's been delivered. Eli's just right on there. <laughs> He's just like, this looks like it. I mean, just <laughs> roll 3d6 and see what you get. Yeah, exploration. Stunt dice. Stunt dice, that thing. Is that another six, six? Four, six. 10, 11, 12. 12, do I get any? Yeah, add your pony bonus. <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta be like a It's, it's actually, yeah, add, add your pony bonus. Communications, if you're. So 13, 14, 15, 16. Um, yeah, that's a good roll. So, um, yeah, um, Eli shows up with a pony. Ryo's <laughs> got her pony, everyone! Uh, why no, not? No, no, it's so sad, though, because yeah, she never got to see it. But now she's just splayed <laughs> out on the pony's back. It's like... Like uh, some kind of Viking funeral. Yeah, exactly. Like I hope burn this, the pony. Uh, I hope this pony has... I'm, I'm burning the pony. I hope know. this pony has healing saliva. Mm-hmm. Oh, we just lost our healer. Just a couple, <laughs> just a couple tender licks. All right, so Andric, uh, he's gonna cast a spell and. Oh. oh, here, don't worry, I got you. They're both ones. They're both, yeah, <laughs> definitely both ones, and another one. It's another one. I don't know how it's happening, Chris. It's oh. weird. I know that never happens to me, <laughs> except that it always happens. To me. <laughs> okay, um, <clears throat> so he exhorts the crowd. You know, come drink. Drink. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, this and, shit's shooting out all over the place. And then he yeah, casts yeah, yeah. a spell, and uh, basically, like a uh, like a, f- a shield of fire starts flickering around him. So I'm, I'm just definitely ranged attacks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what ranged attacks are key? All right. Uh, yeah. So the uh, the guards then go um, berserk. Uh, so yeah, they're basically just like. Tearing into the crowd now, and then you guys shot missiles at them, so uh, none of you are being attacked. But you can see that they are just starting to lay into people and in right. Uh, so just starting to shred to go. Uh, so this we work on a cyclical initiative thing, mm-hmm. so we just need to roll that once for the combat. Mm-hmm. Um, so just to to reestablish our proper initiative order, it's to you. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm taking it. Uh, so I'm going to continue working on this. Creature that we have endeavored over <coughs> multiple, you know, actions to fillet. Um, all right, that's twelve plus five, so seventeen. That's a hit. Uh, their dexterity is lower than mine. Yep. Damage is two d six. Five. Okay. All right. This is a tough son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we we got to get in uh, there. Um. It, so you. Uh, Throw a knife and basically goes right into his eye. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh okay. Yeah. I mean, this is awesome. He's just like, I hate this. This is the worst. Uh, please stop. <laughs> He's just annoyed. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. No. So it's uh, it drops. Uh, okay. That's yeah. great news. Yes. <laughs> this is the best. And, and how many more of those uh, demons are there? Uh, there are three. Three more. Okay. Three more. So there's four total. So there's three more. I'm over halfway there. up the barrel. So, you, so you're shooting. dealing with this wizard shit. Yeah. Right. It's gonna hurt. Okay. What's next? We got this. Uh, so next is Grim. Take it away, Grim. I try to make it up to Anvric. Mm-hmm. Can I? How far can I get? Am I? I'm still cl- cl- trying to climb these barrels. Yeah. Oh. Up. <laughs> I never explained the action economy of the game to you. Yeah. Uh, so in a combat situation, uh, there are free actions, mm-hmm. minor actions, and major actions. Okay. Um, you can do either two minor actions or a minor action and a major action. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, so, yeah. And then free actions are, as indicated, you know, free unless you abuse them. So, okay. Yeah. So as a move action, I can move up to my speed. In, so I can move nine yards. So eighteen, or no, I'm sorry, twenty seven. Yeah. Except that you know the crowd situation crowd, means yeah, you're going a little right. not as fast as that. But, okay. Yeah. So how cl- how close can I get to Andrick? Um, you uh, you can get up to the horses this round. I would ah, say. okay. Yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll still keep running, and I'm, I'm getting to the horses, and I'm like, shh, horsey. <laughs> and just fire again. No, 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 just, no you, you like hold yeah, it yeah, like yeah, this, yeah, like, it's like, shh. <laughs> Boof. Shield its ears yeah. from the blast. It's gonna be okay. Not for me. Oh, God, that is the... Hey, you got doubles. Hey. 
One one two. One one oh, two. I mean, yeah. that's what happens when you care more about the horse. Hey, listen, than you're shooting the horse. Yeah, okay, exactly. <laughs> not not impressed. Uh, all right, you miss. But that horse is feeling pretty right? okay. Loved. Yeah, all right, loved. Uh, uh, Brioche is strapped to the pony. Brioche yeah. is strapped to the. She's fine. She's, she's fine. fine. She'll be okay. Uh, Belladonna. She had a lot to drink, so you know, mm, yeah, she'll just a sleep. lot. She's gonna sleep it off, like a lot. But also, uh, she like, like nom- lot, lot. nommed all that coffee. Isn't That's it? true. Yeah. That's true. She's feeling very, very conflicted internally right now. Uh, am I close enough that I can try to aim at Andric? <coughs> uh, with your bow? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah, this all is right. gonna be great. Okay. Well, now that you've said that, <laughs> you know, you, t- you get a certain so you're level. About a thousand so far. Of cockiness and. Oh, no, I don't know about this. Five, six, seven, mm. eight, eleven. Uh, the, you missed by one. <sighs> no. I'm still protecting the horse, so, you know. <laughs> the horse is horse doing is great. great. I walk I'm like, over Belladonna, some, the horse is great. I walk over to the nearest table and just fucking flip it. <laughs> I'm just so irate. <laughs> I am a failure. Dude, mom was right. <laughs> Everything everyone said about me. It doesn't matter how rich you are. If you can't make it when it counts. You can't kill a wizard? Mm-hmm. What What else matters? What life? I'm v- having an existential crisis. <laughs> just right in the middle of this. It's, it's like, like for you, it's just completely silent. Yeah. You just see all these mouths like. And you're just like. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's gonna come in with some. It's gonna come in with some, with some uh, Simon and Garfunkel. Yeah, yeah. I am full on disassociating right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, Get ready for some magic spells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So Andric has uh, cast a spell. Um, uh, you have caught his attention uh, since you were near him. Yep. And have fired at him twice. Sure. <clears throat> so, Perfectly understandable. Yep. I'm not even uh, mad at Andrick. I'm just gonna kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he successfully casts a spell, and he reaches out his hand, and like a gout of fire shoots out. But I protected the horse, Dick. <laughs> oh, dude, that that he's gonna save that mane. Yeah. Uh huh. I get I get that waft of just burnt Burn hair. hair. Yeah. Uh, so make a dexterity acrobatics. Oh, test. right. Okay. Interesting. Okay. You are testing against his one. spell power, which is basically the you know yeah how potent his spells are. So I got an eleven on my dex. Uh, All right, think. so that is not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's nowhere is even fun close. Uh, uh, oh, well, I rolled a one on that. Time. So, uh, so you are going to take seven points of damage. Um, you get to um, subtract out the armor rating of your armor. Oh, rad. Okay. Um, so I got an armor rating of five, so I'm yeah. taking two points of damage? Yeah. Nice. That's rad. Okay. Okay. That That's makes sense. That's a really neat way to use armor. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. Um, so the um, one of the uh, demonic things. Main singer. Um, <laughs> Miss Main Whoa. Standing in your direction, Main Jessica. Singer. All right. All right. I'm ready for this. So it lashes out at you with some claws. Been lashed. Uh, well, bad news for you. He rolled a 16 on three dice and got five stunt points. I mean, like, in <laughs> fairness, I'm like absolutely like against a wall muttering yeah, to myself. Like, yeah, uh-huh. exactly. What is this just, world like, your even face coming is just through? like looking in there. <gasps> you stupid! Yeah. <laughs> it's a free lash. I, I can't, I can't. I'm falling apart right now. Mm-hmm. Don't look at your boss. <laughs> Alrighty, so... Morale is low right now. No, it's, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, it, is, it has become a Paramore video. <laughs> like... <laughs> Alright, so he does... Very what quickly. You uh, he claws you for 12 points of damage. Um, <clears throat> okay, so 31. Mm-hmm. Alright. Uh, and you can subtract your armor rating from that, so... Zero. Oh, well, alright. There you go. <laughs> the horse is fine. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> to this day. So it is back to Frist. This is terrible. Okay, so you need to kill the wizard. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm getting kill I'm the, working on uh, it. Kill the wizard, please. All right. Uh, I have to do everything, all right? That's what that's what I'm learning. This is what this is what I'm learning about this. All right. So I'm, I I need to go to work on the next dangerous plague demon. Right. Uh, here it comes. Damn, all right. So 11 12 17 Hit. What is on those daggers or those knives? Grease. <laughs> Devil grease. Devil. Now, two d six because his dexterity is lower than me. Mm-hmm. Six. 
Okay. <clears throat> so you, uh, do you want to do the one who just attacked Jessica? Or yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm just going to start working through <laughs> just this. Carving through. Well, yeah, yeah. These all these sides of evil beef. Well, I just, I just see you doing like the very like hitting one, running to the next. Hitting yeah, the exactly, next, exactly. Until you get up to Belladonna and be like, it's going to be okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, listen, don't understand. Like, I, I, there's a number you can call. <laughs> She's just rocking back and forth. Yeah, just exactly. waiting. Just like. I don't know. All my all my decisions were wrong. <laughs> Everything all the way up, the whole way up here. What did I think about this? I don't know. Uh, all right. Well, am so I a you person? Uh, am I a lay red a knife person? into the head guy, anymore? and then Grim, it is your go. I, I, I Please am, kill this wizard. I am yes. running. I am leaving the horse. Yeah, I'm a, you're going to be okay. And I just charge up even further up this caravan. Yeah, if I can. So Do you I, can yeah basically jump on the side of the wagon. Yeah, exactly. If you want to hit it's, him with axe. Exactly. <clears throat> So, uh, so this jumping mm. action, I can't. I probably can't use both axes. I'm going to be hanging on and kind of swiping, or uh, oh, well, I got, I'll take it. So basically, though, you have the novice level of dual weapon fighting, mm-hmm. and that lets you add either plus one to your defense or plus one to your attack. Oh, very cool. <clears throat> as, as you get better at that, then you can actually attack with both axes at once. But. Ah, that's great. That's great. Okay. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Hey, two fives and a stun. <coughs> nice. nice. Um, so that's two fives plus a five, so fifteen. That is a hit. Yep, yep. And you're looking at. Uh, I'm totally going to. I'm going to rapid reload my axe. That's a thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but here's we're talking right. about a lethal ass blow for five. Oh wait, no. Well, oh, because it's all oh, the red dice. It's yeah, the other, it's the dice it's of the, the opposite others. color, dude. You have five points to spend. Oh, oh, oh. We're getting. I mean, I say, I say, throw two t six on there. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be hitting them for four d six yeah. plus three. Essentially the same. Okay. That shit's real. Yeah, yeah. We're doing. I'm, I'm going for a lethal blow on this. Kill this one. wizard. Easily. So it's four d six total. It yep. is. Right. Buy one. Sure. Thanks. Four d six plus three. three. Oh yeah. Oh, hey, friends. Seven, so that's 12, 10, 14, yep. 16, or uh, 14, 17 points. A palpable hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally! Uh, Just cut. Right? Okay. Cut deep. Um, so yeah, so you jump up on the side of this thing and just lay into him with one of your axes, um, and you know you you get him good. Yeah. But <clears throat> demonic you, flames lick out. Yeah. So uh, you know, when your axe penetrates his flame shield, that basically like rushes up your axe and burns you. You take two what's called penetrating damage, okay. which means your armor doesn't doesn't even affect yours. it. Okay. Okay, Belladonna. <coughs> I think we all know. It all turns on this. <laughs> yeah. We all know that the easiest way to motivate a rich person is to humiliate them. <laughs> right. Uh, I believe in you. Very low motivation right now. Mm-hmm. You know, I my my confidence is gone. <laughs> just, just Seven, shuddering eight, in, a, in, in a fetal position now, 11. underneath the table you flipped. I missed it by one again. What were right? you doing? I think I was trying. I think I was. I was trying to be an effective party member and shoot, <laughs> shoot the damn wizard. Oh, the wizard. Okay, and you got an eleven. Eleven. Yeah, you missed by one. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, I am well aware, <laughs> sir. I am well aware that mm-hmm. I am almost, mm-hmm. almost reaching the pinnacle mm-hmm. of of every just, just fall short. It's just like my mom said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, it's not good enough. No, it's fine. Maybe the whole idea of noble blood is bullshit. It's fine. It's yeah, exactly. Gonna... It's all crumbling. <laughs> I'm just gonna go manage a, a local franchise pub or something. Mm-hmm. What even? What is the point? Well, I think Arby's would fit right in and screw yeah. You're gonna manage a pub that has a happy hour. <laughs> oh God. All right. Uh, it is Andrix go. Which I'm sure you're delighted to hear. All right, he's a little more concerned now that he has had an accident. Well, yeah, that be. was a huge yeah, hit. Yeah, that was a very that, that was a good that, hit. That was for Brioche and the horse. That's right. <laughs> What's the horse's name? Jethro. Jethro. Yeah. We've There's two horses. It's Jethro and Tull. <laughs> like those are the two. Those are the two horses. <clears throat> All right, so he steps back a bit. Um, to put a little bit of distance between you. Sure, sure. And then cast I mean, another spell. I, 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 I have a striking presence. Yeah. Oh. But how? How? 
Where does he need to but. cast this? Oh, he's got it. Okay. Um, so you're expecting to see maybe some more fire, but yeah. you actually see like a deep blackness as, son of a bitch. as like shadow like shoots out of him, um, and you are hit with with basically shadows that feel like knives. Um, Cruel so, shadows. <laughs> <laughs> Proof. Guys, this isn't the best. Mm-hmm. Uh, I may have miscalculated. So you take seven points of penetrating damage. Totally so did. Your, your armor does not help you against that. All right. Um, you were attacked by a plague demon, and you were attacked by a plague. Demon. I don't think so. <laughs> That's fine. The plague fine. demon begs to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. I put in my application to be an assistant manager at TGI Fridays. I'm going to be okay, you guys. <laughs> yeah, you. It's a new life yeah. for me. It's a new opportunity. It's starting it's over. It's a, Thank you know, God it's Freeport. Maybe about you'll my get next assistant adventure. manager soon. <laughs> this is your next adventure. See my next adventure. Weekend manager. Can't wait to tell you more. I expect a nine does not hit you. That was too real. No, uh, just no. that yeah, was yeah, too that, real. That got, You've got a defense. Score. I can't wait to tell you more was too real. I am stunned right now. You should be. You should be. You're seeing, you're just seeing your boss cripple in front of you, just like falling apart. Uh, now the Primus dice rolling is starting. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> you get back so once. I got a 10 <laughs> versus you, yeah. which I'm certain is not a No, hit. no, my defense is high. All right, so that. the Plague Demons miss you both. Um, Fuck you, Plague Demons. And uh, it is back to Frist. It's me. Yep. Welcome, welcome aboard the Frist train. I'll be oh, yeah. your host, Cadman yeah. Frist. Um, so my short swords, Yep. this deals 1d6 plus 2 damage. Yep. I should be able to get, I, sh- I should be close enough to hit... Yeah, you just my my, my special quit. friend here. Yep. Now, if I do an all-out attack, yep. I suffer negative one to my defense, which makes me easier to hit. Yep. But I do plus one damage. Yep. Oh. I'm just gonna try it. Yeah. I'm just gonna see how it goes. Uh, Demon, hello. <laughs> hello. Uh, so this is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Well, that's a hit. All right. I roll uh, my. I can add a d6 if my dexterity is greater, which it is. Mm-hmm. So my total damage is 2d6 plus 3. You are not making the damage rolls, no. man. No, 6. Mm-hmm. Total. Six. Total. <laughs> 6 total. I mean, look at what this is doing to the... the I'm boss. not proud. Number morale right. is at an all-time low. Grim. It's oh, a failure getting, of leadership. I, I am so infuriated right now, In but... Built of pain. You gotta chop. I'm I chopping. mean, it would have been good to have your wizard in this encounter. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, wizards are really great. Um, um, so we so got 10, a 10 plus, plus uh, 15. That's a hit. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, no, chop. Chop, chop. And kill. Chop, chop. Kill. Oh, not so, not so killy. Eight. Yeah, that's a total of eight points of damage to the face. Okay. Pache. 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 Kill Pache. <laughs> All right, he's like a little harder to hit where he's sort of crawled to. So you know, you get him, but it wasn't as good as that first. I say, Belladonna, today is the first day of the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? It's a new. Am I close enough to strike uh, one of them with my melee weapon? Uh, there's a plague demon right up on you. Your melee you, weapon. So. All right. So yes, you can. I whip out my morning star. There we go. Oh, there you go. And uh, get melee. I, I hold it and I say, everyone, it's been a long journey. <laughs> the crowd's like, ah. <laughs> and you will be getting paid for this. <laughs> and the thought of money brings me back. It's a golden glow. Welcome to the Golden Globe. Hey. Okay. Two fours Doubles. and a three. Yes. <coughs> plus. Plus your plus, points. Plus, uh, so I have plus one attack roll, and then I do 1d6 plus four damage. Yep. So total being... Twelve. That is a hit. That's a hit. Yep. But yes. you, you have to get those points, too. You so just it. needed a motivational speech. Yeah. Okay. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> now, combat stunts, four points. Yep. What you gonna do? Lay them out. All right, all right, all right. I think that... Uh, Oh, but I can't. I'm not close enough to hit two people, right? I can't do a secondary target. Well, who knows? With shooting? my dual strike. Oh, you're wondering about the dual uh, strike. Yeah, there's no because there's not another plague demon close Sorry. enough for that. Uh, okay, all but right. But you could do a lightning attack if you want. I could do. Ooh. So I've got four, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. I could do a lightning attack, or I could set someone else up. Oh, that's neat. Well, there's so always mighty blow, which does d6 extra damage. Okay, I'll light. I'll lightning attack. 
Uh, no, I'm gonna lightning attack for sure. Same, same, uh, same demon. Yep. And uh, can I? Uh, does it make sense to use like skirmish in this scenario as well? Yeah, if, you want, if you want to start scooting him around, yeah, yeah so like you can push him back. Him, yeah, so we can move him all like closer. We're hurting. Yeah, we're this bit. is the time. All right. Okay. Okay. So lightning right. attack and skirmish. All right. So roll the damage for your first attack. What's what's the damage on your morning star? It's um plus one, plus one to attack roll and one d six plus four. One d six plus four. Okay, so so throw one dice in there, and let's see what we get. Yeah, yeah. Use use yeah. Oh, oh, that's it. Yeah, you have to use Brioche's dice. Nice. We just need Brioche. Nice. We just need the little spirit of Brioche back. No, All right. Like her hand like guided it. Like you yeah, saw her little just hand reach up. Just reached off into the her. Pony. Is that a five or a six? It's a five. 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 It's a five. So, so nine total. Nine. Okay. All right. Yeah, you bash this thing right in the face with your morning star, and then spin it around, and you can make a second attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is it. This is it. This is this is your hour. Now you you cannot stunt on the second attack. Yeah, that, that, I read that. Yeah. Six. Oh, sorry. You need to roll the three oh, d six. Oh, we have to try to hit. Yeah. And then. <laughs> yeah. Then it's. Uh oh. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, well, luckily these things have a really shit defense, so you hit. Stupid idiot! Yeah, so roll 1d6 plus 4 again. 1d6 plus 4? Mm -hmm. Come on. 3, 7. 7, alright. Alright, so yeah, you you bash this thing, spin your morning star around, bash it again, and then it staggers back, you know, like five, six feet. It's like a little embarrassing because I'm putting way too much emotion into in into these swings and, and the blow and mm -hmm. yeah. you yeah. see a side of me that's way more primal than you're used to. Mm -hmm. It's a new side. Hey, we, we like it. We're, yeah, we're, we're okay with this. We're like accepting. A single splatter on my face. Yeah, but, 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 but it's but, exactly but it's right. Vicious, right? Like... So you, uh, you notice that um, <clears throat> there is uh, like a sergeant from the watch who is not drunk. Um, and she is, you know, basically screaming at the crowd to run. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. Get out of here. Like crowd um, control. Yeah. Uh, trying to get people out of the plaza and keep them away. Uh, but, you know, you still see there are some sort of desperate looking people who are still trying to they surge really want to where that. the brew is. Right. Uh, so it's Andrix. They want to get the beer that has yeah. been denied them so long. So long. I mean, wouldn't you kind of stay around for a drop or two? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I get it. Well, right now, it's I'm like, not judging well, them. It's like shooting out yeah. of the barrels. It's just like, you're <laughs> trying to, they're you're they're like trying aiming to, their mugs. Well, no, no, like, they're, they're like, uh, it's like in a fountain or something. Like, they're just trying to get a sip. There's just one guy like this. He's like, <laughs> yeah. All okay. right, Eric, uh, he shadow daggers you again, and you will take four penetrating damage. Ooh. Yeah, <clears throat> shredded. And then plague demons attack both of you. They try to. They do try. Um, uh, God damn it. All right, so you're missed. Yeah, see, I have this problem as well. <laughs> yeah. When I play miniatures games, I'm just notorious for like. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I've got 15 attacks and I hit twice. <laughs> all right, Jessica. Uh, I get an 11. What's your defense? My defense is 11. Okay, you are hit. Okay, how many? Um, you are gonna take... Not quite a half health. Yeah, this is iron sharpens iron. Mm. Uh, no, this is just nine part of your damage. journey. <laughs> nine damage. Yep. He, what? Uh, he did stunt and did a mighty blow. This is like the side. beginning of my comeback, but first <laughs> yeah. I have to hit yeah. rock bottom. No, exactly. <laughs> like Apollo it's Creed actually comes out of the corner and just starts. <laughs> it's the hero's training. journey. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. It's yeah. the hero's journey. Right here. Well, I know exactly what to do. All right. I'm going to cut them with swords. <laughs> hey. Classic. That's Class my plan. Move. Yeah. That's my plan. That's what I'm about. That's my brand. Classic Camden. <laughs> well, that is a real nightmare scenario. Um, seven, eight, nine. 14. That's it. Okay. D6 plus 2. Mm -hmm. Going to be a high number this time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Plus another D6. Going to be a high number. That's it. right. Ready? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm waiting. I'm Believe excited. I'm excited for this. It's it was a high number and maybe a mid range. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're talking about number. 8 points. Okay. Total, <laughs> which is I think we can all agree very high. Yeah. Yes. For 2d6 sure. plus 2. Considering sure. wow. the circumstances, oh. absolutely. Yeah, we're under <laughs> I mean, a lot of pressure yeah. right now. We're under a lot of pressure. <laughs> we're trying to help our boss go through this crisis. Well, I mean, it's, it's, back it's, out it's from Q1. The edge. Obviously, there's yeah. a contraction in yeah. consumer spending. The, I mean, Don't the worry. marketing budget is not the same as, you know, Q4. It's 
I see the hard work you both are doing. You're right putting now. in. Hey, listen, I'm just saying. Once we're done with this, could you, could you please I, I could kill this? Would you please kill I'm, this? I'm wizard? working on it. Please kill the wizard. Uh, so you slash open the stomach of this plague demon, and these like already decomposing, uh, like bloated intestines just sort of spill out of him. But he's okay with it. Well, he's not down yet. Yeah. Mm. But he's very damaged. But, Wow, something's there. happening. Oh, look at this. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hi, Chris. Oh, what's <laughs> yeah, a little gaming, you know. So this is the kind of experience we deliver. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to actively hold it at all times. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can fix it with a little wax. It just looks like you're trying to telepathically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, is there a singing portion? It's a custom among our people yeah, yeah. to, you know, recognize this experience with a song. Okay, what what song? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Would you like me to take your crown? I think you need to wear the crown. I don't know. I'll, I'll wear it. Out there. I like oh, to God. imagine that that whole thing also happened, happened in the game. Actually happened in game. <laughs> yeah. I got it. I got it. Son of a bitch, it's an ice cream cake! The rest of the ravens come in and they're like, look, we yeah, know we you're having it. a hard time right now, mm -hmm. so Listen. we just want to let you know. For your birthday, you get plus two stunt points. hey -o. So, oh, ho, ho. Thank you. Nice. Bribery. Bribois. Now, uh, so are you going to kill this guy? Why kill him for my birthday? Uh, yeah, birthday kill. All right, what does he, what does, what does um, Anvik look like at this point? He's pretty fucked up. Ah, yeah. excellent. I think he just meant in general, and I was yeah, like, like, does that really matter for you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need to not focus hey. on that right now. Sometimes yeah. I have. Uh, Look, you got prejudices. real distracted by the horse. We can't have another one of these. <laughs> so he is a mage, so, you know, he doesn't have sure. huge amounts of health. He does not wear armor. So, sure. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to attack heavily. That's going to be ooh, how we do, how we 18 do. points. 18. Ooh. To hit. Mm -hmm. So 2d6 plus 3, not the best. Um, that's going to be a seven. total of 7. Yeah, that's not the best. <laughs> yeah, these wizards, man. No. Listen, I'm telling you, they're getting stronger by the day. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> What's our <laughs> regimen? Yeah, I know. You, you know, know, they're working out well, in the morning. Supplements? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, is, creatine's creatine a factor. is a huge thing. <laughs> He's able to deflect some of the power of your strike with his staff. With his flaming, so yeah. Bit, you know? And oh yeah, you take uh, two more points of penetrating flame damage. Ooh, yeah. Uh, all right. Um, Brioche is unconscious, so Belladonna. All right, so... Uh, Morningstar, I think, makes sense. Oh, whack him. Yeah. Since I'm, like, right... On this guy, mm -hmm. and it feels a bit awkward to try to hit him with a bow and arrow. Well, yeah, and that's it's about at this point, it's a you got to execute the brand vision. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I have, mm. I have, I have something to maintain here. Mm -hmm. I have a reputation, and so we're gonna smash. Oh, we're gonna smash some people. I think it's still oh, okay. A little bit. It. Six, yeah. seven, eight, nine, okay. ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, that's good. Slice. Got this. We got I this. I saw the Morale one with back one up. two. I was a little worried. Put a hole in this MF. <laughs> all right. Okay. So roll. Do I roll one or all three again? We got three plus one four. With plus four, isn't it? Oh, plus four. For the morning star. Seven. Mm -hmm. All right. Way higher. Yeah, yeah. Totally better than a three. Yeah. So like you really believe in yourself? Yeah. You sort of actualize the murder. Oh, I am self-actualized <laughs> right now. Yes. Yeah, so you you bash his head in with your Ooh. morning star, um, and it crumples to the ground and um, the, the remains of its skin sort of 
start bubbling on yeah. the cobblestone. Yeah, there's exactly. a moment where I really embarrass myself in terms of like just screaming at him for mm -hmm. like a little bit too long, and everyone's like. <laughs> A little weirded out. Because he's dead? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. But I can't stop myself. No, if you scream at a living person, people are like, hey, that makes sense, they can yeah. hear it. But it's like, <laughs> for the dead person, this it gets getting weird. It gets weird fast. Yeah. Like, Real fast. Fast. All right, here. So so right. Belladonna just went went nuts. Now yep. it's time for... So Andrick goes... Um, More sorcery? He uh, he casts a spell, and um, you know he, he sort of looks up at the crowd, and it's like, come back! Come back and drink, <laughs> and he throws like uh, like an area Not of fire, again. like on sort of oh, at, like a on the opposite side of the crowd yeah. to try to push them this way. So basically, he just bastard. burns it's a, a bunch of people and is trying to Yuck. drive the crowd <laughs> back oh. to him. Yuck! Uh, all right, it's, so it's you back, were attacked. Oh, oh yeah, by the uh, by the plague demons. Yeah. All right, ha ha. Of which there are now two. Uh, there are two. That's correct. Uh, the one you're fighting is wounded. The Should other be, one yeah. is not wounded. He's fresh. Uh, <laughs> he's fresh. Not funky fresh. Not funky, no, no, yeah. he's, 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 he's the fresh prince. <coughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so you, know, you yeah. are going to take five points of damage. Ooh. The fresh prince of a specific region. Yes. Mm -hmm. But no, my armor that... gets subtracted from that, right? Yep. That's great. All right. Um, now I go crazy on him. <laughs> you just get. <laughs> I go nuts. So I get, I get, so for my birthday, I get two, two stunt points. <laughs> Correct. You have to actually get a stunt. But yes. well, yes, yes, yes. All right, uh, oh, here we go. We all know about it. We've all mm -hmm. heard about it. All out attack. Yeah. It's an incredible. It's, it's an it's incredible a, it's thing. A new thing that kids are doing these days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the streets. Yeah. The mean streets of Freeport. Legit. Hey, hey. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Nice. Damn. Hey, wow. Hey, hey. That birthday so, magic. Yeah. You, you yeah, uh, yeah. This is nuts. This is this dumb. Point. Okay. So this is uh, it 14. Hits. It is 19 points mm -hmm. on, on the attack. Yep. Nice. And I have six stunt points, but I get plus two points. You do. So I get eight points, which is not even possible. <laughs> you are stunted in up. the system. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. So a lethal blow seems like a good combo right yeah. now at this point. Indeed. Um, now, but I'm also with my extra points, I'm gonna get a mighty blow. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do. This thing is getting annihilated. Exactly. I'm doing four d six plus three. Can I borrow your dice? Yes, sir? absolutely. I'm just four, gonna sit up here and eat cake. Plus three, so eight, nine, ten, eleven, seventeen points. All right. You have had it with this goddamn yeah, his place. His shit's coming out. <laughs> I'm like, that's gross. And <laughs> yeah, so you basically like just decapitate Stop it. him. Just a yeah. clean hit. Yuck. Head flies into the crowd. <laughs> like, Puss, no, thank you. I'm just looking back. Like, solid no, work. Not solid work. Down with any of this. <laughs> like, hey, all right, good <laughs> job. All Rubbing right, off. Grim. Grim. Please kill the wizard. I'm, I'm <laughs> you have it. You have it in you. I know you have it in you. I, I say I like tiger. this, Grim. Yeah, I get it. Like okay, this. I get it. You told me this my whole goddamn life. <laughs> like this. See how the head? See how the head came off? Hey, is that a, is that a, is one, that a one or a six? God, I hope it's a six. It's a, it's six, a six, my friend. <laughs> ah, yes. Double. No, 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 no. Yeah. It's, no, it's better than this. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a six on. Nice. Oh my God. Cut <laughs> this wizard in half. Oh, cut him in half. My God. <laughs> um, so it's going to be Horrifying. 46. I'm going to borrow one of these chestnuts if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get um, it. 46, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus three. three. Kill this wizard. Oh, oh yes! How are you yes! Feeling? Yes! 12, mm. 17, <gasps> 20. Plus three. three 20. Yes! I think it's yeah, like right. the highest roll we've ever seen. It's the best. It's the best roll. So, Is so this, you finally like get your footing right on yeah. this stupid. Budweiser oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cart, um, and you just like plant your axe full on into his right. chest, um, and he crumbles. So right. as he's crumbling, right? Can I yeah. take one of my other axes, and I'm standing on these planks, and I just crack it into the ground, right, uh -huh. or into into the wood, yeah. and I pull a piece of wood up and just whack him across the face, yeah. and be like, "We're the liquor board, bitch." Yeah. <laughs> 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 the Absolutely, board. You can Listen, we have founded an incredible new practice. <laughs> <laughs> it was needed. It was needed yeah. the whole time. A hundred percent. Yeah. All right. So you strike this uh, this guy down, 
Um, the, With all your uh, hatred. Yeah. Other people in the crowd basically, you know, take out the final plague demon. Yeah. And there's like a bunch of chaos, but it's eventually, you know, order is restored. Other people don't drink the stuff and turn into plague demons. Well, no, just, yeah. if, if I see somebody like trying to lap like, it up yeah. or like get it into like a, like a uh, like a flask or something, I'm like, no. I'm just like walking around. No, no, no. Liquor board. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, yeah, so you uh, prevent this uh, outbreak of plague demons from uh, tearing through Freeport. Demon Reap. Which is really like above and beyond the remit of yeah. your yeah. mission. Yeah. So, of the contract. Which I assume we will be rewarded handsomely. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, there was a sergeant of the watch on hand to see <laughs> your hands. So, uh, so, yes, you will... Uh, you will get some some Freeport love. Recompense? <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, hey, and thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you for showing us your yeah. cool toy. This was Super the best. Fun. Thanks I for playing. I appreciate it. Oh, it's yeah. our pleasure. It's yeah. our pleasure. Yeah. Thanks, man. Sorry well, hey, ran over. But <laughs> no, indeed. No, 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 it's all good. I yeah. had a great time. Yeah. Precious Channel, thank you so much for hanging out and checking out Green Ronin's Fantasy Age and also coming to my birthday party, which apparently also <laughs> happened. Huge. Uh, mm. Obviously, uh, Jessica Marzipan, uh, AKA Belladonna. Thank you. Uh, a marvelous addition, of course, Holly. Brioche. Brioche. Uh, much respect. Brioche forever. In, mem- in memory. Buttery exactly. No, no, in, at the end, Josh, if there's a way that we can put up a piece of text that says, in memory in of Brioche, brioche. <laughs> 2018 <laughs> to 2018, obviously, um, Sarah McLaughlin's I Will Remember You, yeah. a great choice. Absolutely. Um, anyway, but thanks so much for coming and hanging out with us since noon. It has been a super fun day of streaming. Thanks so much for being a part of it. We'll see you tomorrow for the C Team. <laughs>